Now I know how Alec Baldwin feels when he feeds his brothers. There you go. There you no! go. Eat up, Stephen. What it is, guys? It's Will Blasphemous HD, and today we are here to laugh at another Try Not to Laugh challenge that my brother made of Family Guy. Today we got a special guest on here, my best friend uh, in the whole wide world, Hot Cheetos. Yeah, you know I mean, and and my other best friend that goes quite well with the Hot Cheetos, honestly. Louisiana hot sauce. Lego. What's that? It's this. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I don't know if I'm ready for that. No, Peter, it's okay. Just sing the beginning of La Bamba, but don't say the La Bamba part. Oh, okay. La, 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 yes, good job. You're doing it. <laughs> Bamba. Ooh, so close. Well, this is it. Meg gets out of jail today. Already? Seems like just yesterday we rented a room to that fly that wants to leave but can't figure it out. Okay, now where now? No, right it's, there. It's, I'm having right, some trouble here. It's right there. It's right in front of you. Oh, okay. No, I, I can hear you. Volume's not a problem. I'm just not quite seeing okay. what you're referring then to. Then fly, fly out the uh, window. Up here, just, maybe? Is no. It, is to it, your, uh, up, no, to your that's left. not it. That's just more no. wall. How many eyes do you have? Oh, uh, huh? what, how how just two, same number as you, but yeah, like, you know, I'm, then, I'm just, just go. I'm not oh getting my God, it. Whatever it is you're driving at, I'm just apparently not getting it, so I'm just going to go back upstairs. Why are you telling us this? What do you want from us? Honestly, I'm trying to sell my condo, and I need people to come to the open house and talk about how nice it is. Wow, the price per square foot is quite competitive with similar homes in the area. Yes, I also love it. I will likely purchase it unless others put in a rival bid. Well, what's stopping you? You know, you've always been so non-committal in our relationship. Do you know how much it hurt my feelings when you paused before introducing me to your parents? And it's the same reason you didn't take that job in Denver. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to waste your time. I just remembered my husband is a total chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stewie, he gets way too into those female character moments. Looks like those hot Cheetos hit a lot faster than I thought they would. <laughs> Haven't even taken a bite. And already I'm running off to the bathroom. Oh boy. Two hours later. <clears throat> Just made a little room for the hot Cheetos. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing anymore. Stress release candles for those extra tough days at the office. Oh, you don't know the half of it. On Tuesdays, I work returns. Yeah, I bought this boom box here, and it's got this high-pitched wine. Well, let's have a look. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! It's yours now, sucker! All right, Kyle, looking good. You got 100% on your written test, 100% on your water test. Just one last question. Have you ever had a fist fight with your stepdad? Which stepdad? You passed. Here's your license. Go be a dick. I haven't been this excited since I learned how to speak Braille. Hey, bump, bump, no bump, bump, three vertical bumps, four bumps in a square. <laughs> yeah, I've heard they all look alike. <laughs> Stewie, you want a mommy rocket ride? What? What do you mean? Here we go! Get ready for blast off! Oh, son of a ah! Oh my god, Stewie, are you alright? Nice throw, Casey Anthony. Now I know how Alec Baldwin feels when he feeds his brothers. There you go. There you no! go. Eat up, Stephen. You're the weakest. No! Lois, this is probably a terrible time to remember this, but I think I might have left the weed whacker on. Because he's an idiot. You remember that time he went to the Today Show? Coming up on Today, Tom Cruise has a new movie. We're going to be talking to him. Katie! Funny man Al Franken will be stopping by for a visit. Katie! And Wolfgang Puck shares his recipe for apple strudel. Katie! So stay tuned because we've got all this and more coming up in the next hour. Katie! What? Oh, well, never mind. Ah! Ooh, what's this? I've literally met people like that. It's a quarter. I found it behind your ear earlier. All right, that's enough tricks for you. I'm gonna go lie down on the coats. These Texans are socially backward, and politically, they're all stubborn as a mule. Nope. Sorry. Kevin Bacon wasn't in Footloose. What? Of course he was. No, he wasn't. You lose. Of course he was. He was the star. Nope, he... you're wrong. Look it up. I don't have to look it up. It's common knowledge. Nope. He was on the nope. cover of nope. People magazine. Nope. When the movie nope. came... Everyone no. knows Kevin no. Bacon was a star no. of Footloose. No, It was no. a huge movie. No. He was the no. lead. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa, is that Harrison Ford? Yeah, it said in the brochure that he assists with all the jumps. Get off my plane. Get off my plane. Get off my plane. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you leave Korea now. Yeah. Meet me wherever I land. I'm gonna be cooler than Brian when he hangs out at the bowling alley. That's what I love about high school girls. I keep getting older, they stay the same age. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Get yourself comfortable, Beth. I'll be right back. Hi, young man. I'm looking for a good time. Uh-huh. I'm worldly. I'm fun. This ain't mileage. This is experience. Not interested. Listen, just so there are no surprises, don't be scared. My stuff looks like someone spilled an apple pie in my lap. Ugh, yuck. We can't give up on our goals. What if Jesus had done that? <laughs> Why is the ironing board still out? I'm telling you, this kid is the next Justin Bieber. Young girls love him, but he makes real music that... Sorry I'm late. Traffic. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Disappear. Disappear. Come on. Come on. You ever stop and think, wow, I'm married to that guy? Nah, I just repress it. Is that healthy? Ah, what's the worst that could happen? I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. <laughs> That's right. I bet you're hungry. It's okay. <laughs> I calmed you down, you <laughs> horse. Hey, Peter. All right, Sheila, let's do it right here on the desk while Bert watches. No, Peter, that's not what this is. Sorry, I, I thought I was picking up on a vibe. Damn. Picking up on a vibe. Oh, boy. What is it about golf that always brings out the worst in me? So, Annika Sorenstam, you're uh, quite the female golfer, aren't you? Yes, quite the female golfer. Ha! I knew it! Look! Everybody, look! Look! She's a fraud! Hi, I got my gun here. I'd like to rent a stall, please. Sure. You need a tutorial before you start? <laughs> yeah, it's a gun range. I think I got it. Wait! I think I did it wrong! Do you have a cigarette? Sure. And here's a copy of my last movie. It's essentially Brokeback Mountain from the point of view of the horses. Hey, the sun's been up for an hour. Shouldn't we get riding? Uh, are they still sleeping? I don't know. I'll check. Ah! What? Ah! What? What? Run! What is oh my god! What? Oh my god! Ah! Run! And we met a lot of great people. Hey, what about that couple we met in Amalfi? Did you get their number? I did. You ready? Yep. Okay, it's 19565 Five five zero one eight eight one four five three nine eight nine nine zero zero one six eight nine four five two. To be turned off by my dishonorable discharge. What from the army? No, it's a euphemism. Oh, yucky. Uh, you guys, I need help unloading the groceries. Go to hell, Glenn Quagmire. I'm sorry, but Mondays are Asian only. Why is your last name Wong? It's my married name. Now I see why you're here. Oh, Stewie, it's wonderful. This is going right up on the fridge. Really? The fridge? It's like we have a little Michelangelo in the house. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost it when you said to put it on the fridge. I know. I mean, what the hell is it supposed to be, a pelican or a school bus? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Muhammad Ali drew this. <laughs> what a dumbass. Hey, let's spit on it. <laughs> Okay, but I gotta be... So that's why he wants to kill her so bad. It makes perfect sense now. Home by seven. I'm supposed to talk to the police about that shooting I witnessed. Good Lord, you all right? If I die, leave two dollars worth of flowers right here. Here's my fourth grade class photo. Lean it against a cheap candle. Well, should I call an ambulance? No, call Channel 9 and have a gap-toothed woman say, quote... He never bothered nobody. Like yesterday, I started a lovable gang of Cockney pickpockets. All right, boys, the best targets are old rich people. Here's one now. Go get him. Oh, no. There's no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. <sighs> what are you looking at? You gonna propose? What? Yeah, exactly. What? Eyes front. Italy. It's 9 a.m. and I've already kissed eight guys twice. Why are you looking at the other babies, huh? 
Why are you making me do that, Ruperto? I don't want to do that. Peter, I know you love it here, but riding your bike around town isn't paying the bills, and the kids aren't learning anything at that Italian school. Look at these big ones, ah! Uh, ra -ta 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 -ta, ra -ta 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 -ta, ra -ta 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 -ta. Is this calculus? I don't know. Ra -ta 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 -ta. I heard you coming. I made myself heard. Where have you come from? I've come from where I've been. You're still riding with that mangy polecat, Fletcher? Fletcher met the long arm of the law at the wrong end of a shotgun in the deep end of a grave at the far end of a dead-end road. Winner! <laughs> ah! Oh, that's more disgusting than when Peter went through that Daisy Dukes phase. So who's up for some hoops at the park, eh? Oh, there you are. Come here, you basketball. It's like a walrus flossing. A few weeks? Come on, you know I'm terrible at waiting for things. We'll be right back with more Laverne and Shirley. But I want it now! <laughs> that guest list is more exclusive than the Garden of Eden. So basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. Stewie, I really am sorry about what happened. Oh, don't mention it. I'm just glad to have the whole mess behind us. So what'd you end up doing with those old robots anyway? I just left them out on the curb for the trash man. Uh, what are you doing? Oh my god, this is almost as bad as my bath with Kathy Bates. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get out. Oh crap, there's a keypad. I'm just gonna have to try and figure out the code. When's his birthday? I think it's in March. <laughs> Stewie, are you crazy? That's so loud, the guards will hear. Don't worry about it, Brian. Hey, what's going on down there? Nothing. All right. Is it me or does David Ortiz look just like the mom on Good Times? Look. Oh, man, she does. Aww. I take it back. That's not racist. That's just accurate. Hey, guys. Guess who's got the keys to a speedboat just sitting down at the station? It's a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> you really delivered on your promise. Well, all right. Who's up for water skiing? Hell yeah! Right. Oh, that sounds amazing. I love boats. Boats are my thing. Anything to get out on the open water. Enjoy the salt air. To... Oh, they're already gone. Huh? Well, you didn't widen enough, but you still can't come. Oh. Good evening, Quahog. Just parking. Be there in a sec. Our top story. Authorities have uncovered a mob-run prescription drug ring targeting Goldman's pharmacy. Pharmacist Mort Goldman failed to report to authorities for questioning. Ten thousand dollars? That's a lot of money. Could be our money, Brian. We could find Mort. Easily. So, Chris Pratt, I hear you have a new movie out. So, Chris, you're from Seattle. Chris, what was it like working with Amy Poehler? Hey, Chris, anything you can tell us about Guardians 3? Take, Take it, it away, away multiracial guys. band. Water ski, yeah! All right! Water sitting! You gotta cut to the right. No, no, it's counterintuitive. You gotta cut left. Bro. I know how to drive. Oh, bro. You got it. No, no! Oh. Bro, this is so uh, Maybe we won't be going water skiing. Hey, you want some help? I do this all the time. Get back in your car with your wife. When you're going backwards, Irva thinks the opposite. Oh, really? Thanks, driving instructor. <laughs> I feel like everyone watching... Now, I've never driven a boat, uh, especially not on uh, land like he is. But if I have, I'll tell you, it's extremely difficult. You ain't known difficulty until you've driven a boat on land. He knows I'm incapable of pleasing my wife sexually. Now cut. What? I feel like everyone watching knows I'm incapable of pleasing my wife sexually. Now cut the wheel. Cut the wheel. No, the other way. Ah, hell, we're gonna be on the internet. You know what? Screw it. Let's vote! 
Well, that's one way to do it. Can't be mad at his decision making. I don't like getting wet. Oh, come on. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Mort must have panicked after the pharmacy bust and fled town. If we're gonna collect our ten grand, we need to figure out where he went. Crap, his computer is password protected. Nope. But I lost the receipt. Bingo. A confirmed plane ticket to Boca Raton. Looks like we're going to Florida. We gotta get to him first. We're going to Florida too. Is there any chance there's time for the wizarding world of Harry Potter? Is a resounding yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it bad that I like Harry Potter a lot too? Legitimately, I've seen all the movies. What the hell? <laughs> I don't like I don't like water. Even cartoon water, I don't mess with it. <laughs> Oh my god! That shark's attacking Quagmire! Man, that guy can get anyone to do that to him. <laughs> Quagmire, are you okay? Do I look okay? <gasps> oh, oh my god, Quagmire lost his penis! White flag for friendly, black for not friendly, blue flag for penis loss? Oh man, that sucks. Doc, give it to us straight. What's going on with our friend? Well, Mr. Griffin, there's no easy way to put this, so I'm just gonna come right out and say it. He's black. Well, Mr. Quagmire... <coughs> ...Mire, you've had quite the nasty shark attack. Luckily, you'll be okay. But you're going to have to learn to live without a penis. Oh, what's this? Is it... your penis? Nah, I'm just fooling. Liev Schreiber gets a big kick out of it. Doc! Do you know who you're talking to? That penis was my whole life! You should take his wiener. He's clearly not using it. Stop looking at us! <laughs> <laughs> that does make me feel better. What are we doing here? This is Pitbull's house. He knows everything about South Florida. Doorbell, 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 ring. <laughs> it's my house. Wow, imagine kind of knowing two languages. Hang on, I'm in the middle of writing a song. Ding da dong ga de dong dong ding. <laughs> Told you, this guy's the real deal. We're looking for a friend who's hiding out down here. He's a Jewish pharmacist from Rhode Island. And here's Pitbull with his newest hit, Tink da tonka te tong tong tink. Adios, goodbye, amigo friends. I gotta go get paid to scream. Make some noise! I think I hear more in the bathroom. Come on, Yorin, you can do this. It's been five days now. Why won't you just cooperate? Is someone out there? The housekeeping! Oh, come on in. I'm just urinating. What a healthy stream. Will it ever end? What are you guys doing here? We're taking you back to Quahog to collect our reward. Oh, no, I can't go back there. The mob will kill me. A shark bit Quagmire's penis off. Ha. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is horrible. What am I going to do? Come on now. Keep that enormous chin up, Glenn. There's lots you can do. Cleveland, why don't you sit this one out? Listen, Quagmire, I got just a way for you to embrace your new life without a penis. I've had this computer blocked, so you can discover all the other exciting things on the internet besides porn. No! Uh, I like to research birds. Try to learn a bird a day. Well, not that necessarily, but... Uh, you got your robin, your swallow... Swallow? Uh, actually, this is what we're trying to avoid. You got your titmouse. Damn it, Joe, stop with the sex birds! You don't understand what that penis meant to me! We did everything together. Absolutely everything. Jennifer shuddered in anticipation of... The sensual night ahead. Was he not using his hands to turn those pages? What? Kill me! I don't care. We're getting the hell out of Florida. Florida, which, interesting trivia, was the name of the mom in Good Times, played by David Ortiz. It's him! Get him! No, we're not! I'm the fastest Jew in the world! There goes our reward. Well, maybe we were in over our heads. He's got about 190 yards to the hole. Looks like he's going for his five iron. Is that right? Wow. And he hits a great shot right on the green. Yeah, yeah. How do you win golf? 
we now return to HGTV's Couples Looking for a House Where the Woman Doesn't Know the Guy's Gay. I'm looking for a place with good schools, and because he works in the city, he's looking for an easy commute. And we'll probably need a nursery. Well, that's a discussion. I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. Ventriloquism. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Quahog Playhouse. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. Now I gotta go to this thing. Ah, fight me! Laughing already, just thinking about it. Oh! I'm so glad Quagmire's back on his feet again. Break a leg! I didn't realize the curtain was up. And people think I'm the dummy. Ah, how is that doll talking? What a great crowd, huh, Edgar? This is going to be a fun night. You call this fun? You're talking to a wooden doll to make up for the fact that you can't have sex anymore. Besides, if you've got all the answers, what do you suggest? Here's a suggestion. Blow your brains out in front of all these people. Oh, God. Come on, Edgar. I, I got a lot to live for, according to everybody. I'm not going to kill myself. Well, then, maybe I can help. Oh, God, Peter's here. I so don't want to talk to him. Well, Edgar, if you think that would be best, yes, you'll be out of your misery. I think it's a guy talking. I'm holding this gun until you start thinking straight. Use it on yourself, Joe. There's more than one bullet in here, Joe. You should hold this, Cleveland. Are you really going to just sit there after all the crap white people have given you your whole life? Peter, you could get free tacos with me. It worked! <laughs> Quagmire, why the hell would you want to kill yourself? You want to know why? Because I can't do this anymore. My life is over. Come on, Quagmire, it's not impossible. You want impossible? Try eating local pizza with a guy from New York. You call this pizza? We do here, yes. All right, Brian, I negotiated to get Mort back from the mob. How? I told them Mort gave us his flash drive with enough evidence to put them all in jail. And I also ordered an extra slice of pie. Because you know how many times we live, Brian? Once. <laughs> hey, Dad. I'm so sorry, Glenn. Stop staring, Cleveland! Thank you, Cleveland! Have a blessed day! No, you don't! You had yours surgically removed in a hospital! I had mine bitten off by a shark! I also have Crohn's disease. They're unrelated. Why are you here, Dad? I knew you were down in the dump, so I brought you something to cheer you up! That is kind of rad. No, that's mine. Your gift is inside. Yes, Glenn. It's my penis. After my surgery, I kept it in my freezer. Next to a snowball from the winter, if you can believe that. Can't take your penis, Dad? Please, take it. If you don't, I'm just gonna give it to Paul Ryan. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Proud of you guys, but... Weird. Okay, has everyone washed their hands? I'm so nervous for Quagmire. I know, but it's nice that they served hot dogs for the surgery. There it is! Give me that! Nurse, you put it on there. I'm not gay. The operation was a success. Congratulations, Quagmire! Thanks, guys. I don't know how to thank you. You've given me the greatest gift I could ever ask for. I love- Please don't ask for sex. Please don't ask for sex. For you, son. I love you, too. So, will it work, Dr. Hartman? Oh, yes. I'm not sure about urination or sex, but otherwise, yes. So, how you feeling? I'm actually in extreme pain, Doc. It's like knives are stabbing into my crotch. Mort's is closed. Oh, oh yeah. Cool tie-in with the other story, though. I'm trying to get more involved in the writing this season. What's a dramedy? Well, for one thing, the scenes don't have to end with jokes. <laughs> you got the flash drive? Yep. All the information that could put you away forever. Now, again, I don't know why we couldn't have done this by Dropbox. And you wouldn't have to mail me back my flash drive. What do you mean, mail it back? You were planning to keep it? It's 64 gigs! I bought the coverage! You're not getting the coverage! Ugh, Mort is so hard to write for. Okay, give us Mort. My mailing address is in the flash drive. Ah! FBI, freeze! What the hell is this? Thanks for your cooperation, Mr. Goldman. Wait a minute. You were working with the feds? Absolutely! When I heard there was a reward, I immediately turned myself in. Well, Brian, we may not have gotten the $10,000, but it'll be a joy to hear no more Jewish talk for a long while. The image freezes, the end. Ah, that was a good day's work. I've earned this. 
with no! a shot of the old Sorkin genius juice. No! Oh, so, Quagmire, how's the new rod holding up? Yeah, you know, good, pretty good. My dad didn't mention there's a four-inch mole on the left side. What? Uh-huh, it's like the size of a 50-cent piece and a dime kissing each other. I try to tell him it's my dad's old penis, but that, um, that just tends to make it worse. But the girls that stay are just great. Well, I'm just glad our friend's back to his old self. Yeah, seems he hasn't missed a beat. It's great that we can be there for each other in trying times. What's that noise? Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, <laughs> endures all things. Love never ends. What it is, guys, it's Boy Blast from HD, and today we're here to check out some more Family Guy. If you guys want to watch the original video, the link's in the description down below, but probably not, since my brother is the one who actually made this for me, Lego. Tonight, Channel 5 News is proud to welcome our new weekend weather girl, Misty Fogbank. Misty? Thanks, Tom. Well, we got a nor'easter off the... And when we come back, I'll tell you if you're going to need your umbrella in the morning. Thanks, booby. Uh, uh, jug Jugsy, oh. nipple, chesty, melon, uh, mammy, cleavage, sex. Uh, you know what? This is not going to work. Uh, we, we need to bring back that gay guy. Everybody on! Peter, that dining room table is an antique. It's been in my family for six generations. It's fine. Okay, now since we're white guys doing something stupid, everybody grab a GoPro. Yeah, this is awesome! Oh, we're drifting, we're, we're turning, we're turning! Dad, I'm scared! We're backwards! Am I the only one who thinks that now we're at an alarming speed? We interrupt this program for a Channel 5 breaking news report. Three local men have barricaded themselves inside a Quahog bar and are currently in a standoff with authorities. We now go live to Joyce Kinney, who attended her sister's wedding last night. Thanks, Tom. One of the suspects has been identified as Peter... Y'all see that, uh, that jizzle on her dress? But the real story is I'd be married, too, if I were willing to date a Persian. Are you insane? You could have killed the entire family. Sorry, Lois. I honestly thought this was going to be fun. Like when I won that sex contest. First again. Wasn't even close, was it? No, Peter. It wasn't even close. Yeah, you are terrible at this. Now, why don't you clean up and go get the champ of Gatorade? All right, Chris. Where is it? And don't try to act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Fine. You caught me. So I borrowed your bra. My boobs hurt when I go down the stairs. What are you now on, I too will be abstinent. I'll be as untouched as the turn signal in an Asian woman's car. How much oh. signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else! Next up, stay tuned for our special investigative report on the clitoris. Nature's Rubik's Cube. The clitoris. Nature's Rubik's Cube. <laughs> will each be required to answer an actual 911 call. All right, there's one now. Cadet, you're up. I think there's someone in my house. Oh, I envy that. I live alone. Nobody ever comes over my house. No, oh. there's someone in my house right now. Well, maybe you want to put out some snacks or something. Doesn't have to be nothing fancy. You can even just open up a box of wheat thins, pour some in a bowl. Multigrain's always good. Oh, my Oh, you're going to have to close that bedroom door if your bed's not made. Maybe perhaps you could put on a video later and sneak upstairs and make that bed. Ah! Oh, looks like they saw that bedroom. Tonight's top story, Quahog is infested with loud, hairy creatures also known as New Yorkers. They migrate north every autumn to see the foliage. And I think I speak for all of us when I say that New York and everyone from there can fornicate themselves with an iron stick. And reports indicate she has also consumed a record amount of semen. Well, that sounds like one powerful hurricane, Diane. Sir, if you're gonna want me to examine where you're having an issue, you're gonna have to be more specific than thingy. Okay. What's going on in here? Where's Dr. Hartman? He had a family emergency. I'm not really a doctor, but I've been sort of filling in for him. Well, you don't belong here. Yeah, but uh, this is why I don't like big presses. Here it is. It says take 24 to 128.
Oh, hey, Quag, man. Hey, Peter. I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. I farted. As a result, I've rediscovered an old hobby I used to love as a kid. Ventriloquism. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Quahog Playhouse. Quagmire, we'd be delighted to attend. Wouldn't miss it. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. Now I gotta go to this thing. Ah, bite me! Laughing already just thinking about it. Only one way to get out of this. We'll now insert this carnivorous earwig into my brain. Huh, kind of tickles. Oh, God! It's eating out the back of my eyes! Ah! In other news, chocolate may be better for you than once thought. This is everything about it's a clam. I love it. Ah, uh, and it's just gonna, that's exactly. Hey, I, I remember, I remember, I remember when, I, I remember when, I remember when Quick Time here passed out in the in the booth, this booth, and we did stuff to him that you do to ladies, and we, we promise we never tell you. What? To the clown. No, oh, you, what? Your hair looks stupid. We now go live to the Rhode Island State Penitentiary where Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa is standing by. Trisha? Tom, I'm outside this maximum security facility where a ruthless thug has engineered a daring escape. Sir, do you have any plans now that you're out of jail? Yeah, I'm gonna go bang my girlfriend and then I'm gonna kill Chris Griffin! Coming up in this half hour, our undercover expose on conveniently placed news reports in television shows. But first, Peter, look out for that skateboard. Yeah! All, all the greatest, all the greatest moments of my life I spent right here in the, in this booth. Maggie's first word, Bart jumping that canyon, Mr. Plow, all the greatest moments of my life. Why is, why is label guy trying to punch me? Punch you first, label guy. I gotta go pee. I don't, I don't want to get up. Joe, where's the, that thing? Where's the thing? Where's the catheter thing? Oh, smiles, private. Hey, what happens if I blow in this end? No, it'll explode. I'm gonna. You do it better than Bonnie. It takes a man. <laughs> you do it better than Bonnie. To know what a man likes. Dad, what are we doing here? Chris, I am gonna teach you how to stand up to a bully. Because sometimes a man's gotta be a fighter, like Mike Tyson. Hey, baby. You're looking mighty fine tonight. What'd you say to my girlfriend? Oh, is she your... Oh, I'm sorry. You will be. Oh. Why are your nipples poking into me? Sorry, that happens when I'm cold. But why are there three of them? There aren't. Two of them are moles. Those numbers still don't add up. Me. What are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, it's me. Your old punching bag, Charlie Brown. <laughs> I swear I didn't know how strong it was. And now he's dead. They're both dead. I don't give a crap about Woodstock, but Snoopy. <laughs> Get off me, you skank. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. <laughs> endures all things. Love never ends. That an animal's life is just as important as a human's. Go, fellow canine! Be free and enjoy life! Maybe that's why he was tied up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he was tied up. Hey, look, Tom Tucker. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, tonight's second story. The restaurant has gone into foreclosure and will be up for auction tomorrow. Yeah, it's hard to believe a place where you eat with your hands next to piles of horse dung while untrained theater students fight with real swords could be drowning in lawsuits. An <laughs> evil castle? I love that place. My sister almost got a job there once. Guys, we should go to that auction tomorrow and buy it. I mean, can you imagine if we had our own medieval castle? 
I bet it'd be even more fun than when I went to White Castle. There it is, guys. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. We just gotta win this auction, and then we'll have our own castle. Oh, yeah? Over my dead tooth. Good afternoon, and welcome to today's auction. Due to the presence of black mold, discarded half-eaten turkey legs, and an undulating rat king that no one dares approach, two bits. Two bits! That's 25 cents in the Old West. We have 25 cents. Do I hear higher than 25 cents? This paper bag, which could be full of money or my socks. You take the chance. Two bits in a cardboard box, which may or may not contain a mystery bag. Already the most challenging auction I have ever been a part of. Ten thousand dollars. Shots. We are all shot. There's only nine thousand dollars in the mystery bag. Awarding this condemned building to you. <laughs> Damn it, we lost. I guess the castle was a crazy idea anyway. So what do we do now? Well, I'm looking at my calendar, and I blocked off the next two weeks for castle fun. Now those words seem stupid. Man, those losers don't deserve that castle. Well, you know, in castle times, if you wanted something, you just took it. I checked with my mom, and she said it was cool with her if we wanted to sleep here tonight. I'm pretty sure I can. Count me in. Oh, I'm gonna have to go home and get my pillow. <laughs> God, I hope he's got insurance. Of course he's got insurance. He's been at this location for 40 years. All right, plan B. We'll shoot flaming arrows like in Robin Hood. So should I be aiming for an open window or just arcing it over the wall? I don't know. I've never seen the movie. Just the Brian Adams video. Oh. Wait, so from my understanding, wouldn't they supposed to not be damaged in the place? I wonder what they're going to put here. Trader Joe's? Oh, I would love a Trader Joe's. All right, this says if we don't get arrested for the next six months, the arson and mayhem charges will be dropped. Well, that's good news. Doesn't bring the homeless people in the basement back to life, but it's something. Hey, sorry again, you guys. It's, I've already forgotten about it. I'm too busy thinking about my hot date tonight. Yeah, right. Hot date. With your left hand or your right hand? What the hell was that? Mort's getting laid? Yeah, thanks to Tinder, he's had a different girl every night this week. What's Tinder? It's an app for your phone where two strangers can hook up for a dirty liaison. What, like hookers? Nope, just two horny people with phones. Wait, I don't get it. So, so you hit them on the head with your phone and knock them out? I can see now the homie Quagmire obviously graduated from uh, Bill Cosby's school of dating. Did you know about this, Scott Bale? Uh, yeah. And you, Scott Kahn, did you also know about easy sex on the internet? Yes. And how about you, douchebag music producer Scott Storch? Quagmire, all the Scots know about it. Okay, let's get me set up on this Tinder thing. I can't wait to start getting laid at the push of a button. Well, first you gotta set up your profile. Oh yeah, I've been working on that. I wrote several long paragraphs describing my interests, some pet peeves, choice of wine, couple of inspirational quotes, things I've learned from my cats. No, 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 none of that. You want a naked bathroom selfie covering your stuff with a fistful of hundred dollar bills. What's really messed up is that would 100% work. Wonder what beach that is. Oh, no, no, give me that. Hey, you see this? You see what I'm doing? Not even looking. I'm swiping yes. Yes, yes, yes. Casting a wide net. Hey, look at this. You already got a hit. And she sent a message. She did? What am I looking at here? It's mostly small, colorful pictures. Those are emojis. Read them. Okay, it says, hey, and then a kissy face, and then, like, a saucy, smirking face, three balloons, and a locomotive. Oh, my... That means she's down to run the train, uh... My God, I just got four more matches! And a text! She says, come over right now. Peter, hand me that KY jelly. No. No. What are you doing? Hi, are you Courtney from Tinder? You must be Glenn. I got you these. A lovely bouquet for a lovely... Yeah, take off your pants and sit on the coffee table. Okay. Yes, yes. It, it, is, 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 this, is this real? And we could still make our reservation. What? Why? We already had sex. Wait, so I don't have to make small talk with you or spend any money? Of course not. Here, wipe yourself off with this West Elm catalog. I was 
<laughs> All right, hitting the links. Joe, golf shorts may not be the right look for you. It's gonna be a nice day. Not for us if you wear those. Well, that seems a little hurtful. I haven't seen much of him since he discovered Tinder. Tinder? See, swipe yes on Jennifer, swipe yes on Andrea, swipe yes on all the lady faces. Help! Swipe, 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 swipe. We've been doing Let's, uh, so Let's get a little light in here, huh, buddy? Ah! The yellow face! It burns my tin... The way he's crouching, there's a testy peeking out. Mike, my, my, maybe it's time to ease off that Tinder, huh? No! No, ah, damn it! Oh! <gasps> Grayscale! Hey, listen. Dang, what STD is that? One can only imagine. Quagmire, my, you're our friend, all right? We hate to see you like this. I don't have any friends. Only sex people from the phone. Here, sometimes they bring burgers and cheese. Hey, come on, Quag. Sometimes they bring burgers and cheese. <laughs> my, let's go for a walk, huh? Get some fresh air. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, you're gonna have a no. baby in your butt, man. Can't leave. I can take my glass eye out if you want to try something different. I got a good feeling about her. Maybe she's the one. Let's do it in the garage. It's kind of cold, but we can do sweaters on, pants off. Look, he left his phone. I'm just gonna nudge it with my knee into this empty pizza box. And it's stuck to my knee. Let's, uh, let's just go. All right, we gotta just throw that phone away and end this once and for all. Yeah, no kidding. Quagmire's in bad shape. Swipe, come on, I'm not getting any matches. All right, Quagmire, we gotta talk. This whole thing's out of control, Quagmire. You gotta get off Tinder. Yeah, there's plenty of nice women out in the real world to meet the old-fashioned way. There was a time when you'd be more selective, when you were horny and feeling erective. Now a lot of sad, lonely gals who want babies. 300-pounders infested with scabies. Leather gimps who do nothing but moan. The? These are the weirdos you find on your phone. You know, a surprising number of them live near the air. For kids, it's kind of tragic. Sex for them has lost its magic. Banging every Tom and Dick. And friends despise you because we're not allowed to have an orgy through our phones. A filthy degenerate seeking a thrill. Prescriptions to fill. Cause Tinder makes you so... You guys can just forget it. I'm not quitting Tinder. Sir, is everything all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, oh, hey, uh, you on Tinder? What? That gross dating thing? No. Look, I'm not trying to pick you up. It just seemed like you were upset about something. And I know when I'm upset, it's nice to let someone else in. Giggity. What did you just say? I, I, I don't know. I think I said, I said... For me? God, I don't know why I do... Let someone in! Giggity. Don't do this anymore. Don't give up, miniature Quagmire. This is exactly why you got into the over-the-shoulder advice business. Ignore him, miniature Quagmire! Give up on your attempt to convince real Quagmire to not use Tinder and to instead have sex with this woman who's right in front of him. Wait, what's going on? I'm just saying, you used to have skills that no one else had. That took you years to hone. You were an artist! Ah, damn, I think I was too wordy. Today, we were very close. We used to finish each other's... Um... Sentences? Oh, oh, I just got chills. I'm Sandra. I'm Glenn. You know, I, I just... I just feel like my penis shouldn't be alone tonight. All right! Well, looks like Quagmire's back. Does that work? I feel like if I said that to anybody, I'd, I'd be in prison. Coming it up in the real world. Hi, I'm that prostitute you guys hired to seduce your friend. Oh boy. Well, deal's off. He's dead. But perhaps we can make other arrangements. Yeah, your butt stuff. Oh. Oh. Uh, hey, yeah, there it is. do you think I could try to... Uh, taking balls. <laughs> Three of them. <laughs> oh. oh. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's my back. It's killing me. Yeah, I'm not falling for that hot oil massage bit again. No, this time it's not a bit. I'm really hurt. I must have jacked it up playing sports and not trying to dance like Beyonce. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Shut the door, baby. Don't say a word. 
Okay, I guess that's not my part. Sorry to keep you. I was reading this Highlights magazine in the waiting room. Do you see any differences between these two pictures? Oh, am I the only person that used to love the Highlight magazines? I literally used to collect them. I think I got up to like 22 when I was a kid. Pie has a wedge removed. Yes, yes. Dr. Hartman, were you able to tell anything from Stewie's x-rays? Oh, yeah. Big shoe, small shoe guy? But don't worry, he'll be fine. He just needs to wear this brace for a while to correct it. Oh, dear. Now, does he have any school pictures coming up? Yeah, he actually does. Well, then this will not be a refrigerator door year. All right, take a gander. Gawk at the elephant man. Let's get it all out. There's our brave guy. Brave? And just for being such a trooper, I thought maybe you could be the first in line for snack today. Really? On pretzel day? And after that, you can hold the bunny. Yeah, I'll pass on that, but the pretzel thing sounds up my alley. Well, I say, that was a pleasant surprise. You know, like when a woman in a Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. Oh! So how's it going with the back brace? Are people giving you a hard time? Quite the contrary, Brian. Apparently, people love the wretched. Thanks to this thing, I was offered seats directly behind home plate at Fenway. I passed. Wow, that patient next door is fat! I couldn't hear you! Uh, th that wasn't me, that was Mrs. Griffin. So, I've got Stewie's results- What? No, I can't give this thing up! Wait, what do you mean? You, you want to keep wearing the brace? Of course I do! It's the best thing that's ever happened to me! When I wear this brace, I get pampered like the Queen of England- Sorry I was late. You're still wearing that back brace? That can't be good for you. Dr. Hartman said you were done with that thing. I'm not gonna listen to that bozo. Of course I'm still wearing it. Watch me jump this line. Excuse me, I have scoliosis. Excuse me, scoliosis coming through. Hey, pal. Polio. A thousand apologies. Hmm, you're still here. Did we? <coughs> what the deuce? <coughs> Oh. Ryan! Ryan! Yes, is it possible to get Showtime for free for the next, like, two hours to see if I like it? Ryan! <laughs> what is this? Hurt your head. You've got to take me to the hospital. Absolutely. Let me just watch Jennifer's body and we'll go right there. Brian, there's no nudity in that movie. Take me to the hospital. What, so it's rated R for curses? God, this country. That's actually really true, man. I did. Is it noticeable? Well, nothing that can't be fixed with a string of chili pepper Christmas lights. I wore that brace for the next five years of my life. The kids stopped cheering the second day. Then it was just, get off the swing, you... On NYPD Blue, I'm known for packing heat. But every year when I go to the Emmys, the heat I'm packing is clumpy and smells terrible. Not anymore, thanks to the suit shoot. And the... Hobie poop on itself. Didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> the winner is... Your socks and shoes. What are we doing here? This is Pitbull's house. He knows everything about South Florida. He can help us find Mort. Doorbell, 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 ring. <laughs> it's my house. It's mi casa. Wow. Imagine kind of knowing two languages. Hang on. I'm in the middle of writing a song. It's going to be crazier than whatever Kanye West is doing at this particular moment. I'm giving this lasagna a massage while preparing to announce I'm joining ISIS. Thank you for your interest. Hello, Peter. <gasps> the Michelin Man? You're part of this? No, I'm two-time Emmy winner Alec Baldwin. Peter, stop snooping around the Emmys. Yeah, butt out. It's none of your business. Well, why not, Julie Bowen? Huge fan, by the way. Just huge. What are you hiding? What's the big secret reason Family Guy can't win an Emmy? Now, because you can't stare at your phone anymore, enjoy a disturbingly loud clip of Jimmy Fallon on Cab TV. Tonight, get ready to lose all respect for Al Pacino when I force him to play a game meant for children! This. This is why Uber. Hi, George Clooney, second worst Batman. Peter Griffin, second best Homer. You may have heard, I'm also known for my practical jokes on the set. One time, I nailed Nora Dunn in the head with an apple. <laughs> that, that's hilarious, because you're handsome. Otherwise, you're just some dick who hit a lady. Uh-huh. 
So you hit them on the head with your phone and knock them out? No, yeah. you just swipe someone's picture, they come over and you plow them. Wow. What? I gotta try this. I mean, easy sex on the internet? Did you know about this, Scott Bale? Uh, yeah. And you, Scott Kahn? Did you also know about easy sex on the internet? Yes. And how about you, douchebag music producer Scott Storch? Quagmire, all the Scots know about it. That right there, man, because I just got done recording the to Catch a Predator video. That's a good option right there. You know what I mean? Because just because you're unattractive and overweight doesn't mean that you can't get women. You know, that just means that you have to get money. Wednesdays are rehearsal days here at Family Guy, and the first rehearsal with David Spade appears to be going very well. Uncle Ricky, what are all these strippers doing in our house? Uh, the Lord's work is what they're doing, at least in my eyes they are. Each other? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry! I've been sent here from the future. I have to have sex with your housekeeper to save humanity. What? Bring me your housekeeper. I have to have sex with her now. I'm the Terminator. I don't have a housekeeper, and I think you're just present-day Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, I am a machine. Every second I'm not having sex with a housekeeper. Robots are killing people in the future. Well, shoot, if that's the case, man, I need to dress up like Steve Harvey and start telling people I'm Steve Harvey from the future. You're on my game show. What game show is? What that mouth do? <laughs> It's taped in front of a live studio audience inside of a college bathroom. A 16-year-old? Elmo's accuser recanted and admitted the relationship was consensual. Yeah, but wasn't there another case that was only thrown out because the statute of limitations had expired? Elmo, no comment. Cookie! Ah, oh, he wants a cookie! Oh, I love the mother. It's ludicrous. That's not Tyrese. What are you talking about? They look nothing alike. Ludicrous looks like a human peanut, and Tyrese looks slick. He looks like a Chinese black, like Africa and Asia had sex while Europe sat on a chair in the corner of the hotel room and watched. Ludicrous, human peanut. Tyrese, Chinese black. Hit? Yes. I can see that actually. Oh my god! Uh, Since you're now a ghost, would you like to do pottery while straddling present day to me more? Pass. Yes. Yeah, not getting a lot of takers for that one. I feel like the bones in her back would hurt my tummy. Demi Moore is like 56, isn't she? Well, bring her on. I'm still gonna do it. <coughs> Measles. Ah, I've gotta get out of this house or I'll be in worse shape than John Goodman. I've got your EKG here. How does it look? Well, it spells out pancakes. Oh, okay, so same as last time. I'm recommending you go on a strict diet immediately. Nope. Horses that make it look like I can walk, take me to Hollywood. And the pool is filled with my favorite food. Soup with little shapes in it. Sponsored by Campbell Soup. Oh, alphabet soup is my favorite too. What's an Alba fat? Nothing. I would legitimately swim in that. Is that bad? I guess like a ball pit, but except liquids in your crevices. Someone make this dream happen for me. What you said is not anything. And check out the shower. Ultra Sunrise Monster Energy Drink. Sponsored by Monster Energy Drink. That look like pee. Why do you keep saying what things are sponsored by? My manager said if I don't, I won't go to heaven. Sean Penn? That's right. Two-time Oscar winner Sean Penn. What are you doing here? I'm bringing vaccines into your quarantine town. Anytime there's a public health crisis in the third world land, I'm there. Third world? This is Rhode Island. Oh, really? Have you seen some of the delis on Federal Hill? Oh, Rhode Island slam! Oh, I like you, Sean Penn. Good morning, ladies. Were the paramedics able to resuscitate Lamar Odom? They're still working on it. No! He's tall, get it? Okay, show's over. Everybody back to work. <laughs> now let me put this baby bonnet on his head and a cigar in his mouth. So, what do you say? Are you gonna let your wife play? Absolutely. Lois, stay here and play with us. I can't say no to baby bugs. Could you, could you, could you go? Ah, he bit me. Wherever a father weighs less than his daughter, I'll be there. Wherever someone has a banner for a football team as a curtain, I'll be there. Wherever there's a fight in a Waffle House, I'll be there. Now go. People need a concert to go to after the water park. Now wait, so the white ball has to hit one of the stripy balls? Yes. How many times are you going to ask me that? I don't know. I'm just a baby. 
All right, so I guess I'll go ahead and, um, what is it you call it? Break. Break. Right, break. Oh my god, beginner's luck, huh? Start the car! Start the car! Go, 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 go! Yeah! We've been hustled. Well, maybe you just didn't try hard enough, Brian. You know what, father from Family Circus? All you do is judge other people. Every day in the funnies, all you do is judge. Why don't you shut your goddamn mouth for once and go home and f*** your wife in the face? Pat. Actually, that doesn't sound half bad, really. Just... You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! What, what did you do? I killed him, Brian. And he's the lucky one. He went quickly. There were nine dogs in that litter. Now, are you gonna help me get those Hannah Montana tickets? Poor kid banging her headboard into the wall out of frustration and loneliness. Probably got her legs up in sadness. Listen to her now. Washing a face off in the sink after crying so much. Probably got tears in her hair, poor thing. I'll go up and talk to her. Am I the only one who thinks she's getting f***ed up there? Hi, uh, we're on the list. Names? Uh, Stewie Griffin and Kanye West. Yo, yo, yo. You don't look like Kanye West. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. No, I'm, I'm him. Then sing one of your songs. Uh, Freddie Sanford. Freddie Sanford and his son, Freddie Sanford. In a junkyard having fun. What the devil will they screw up next? Can you give me a break here? I clean toilet. What? I clean toilet. What are you doing? I'm on the job. He's okay. Please leave. Rubik the Amazing Cube. Rubik the Amazing Cube. Do you have a drinking problem? Why are your colors all messed up? Uh, I, I can fix this. Li line up the two corners. Red next to yellow. Oh, f so this chick goes on a date with this guy that she wants to f Oh. Okay, I just lost. Dang it! She's worried because she's got like a huge vagina from f so many other guys, so she gets a piece of liverwurst and shoves it up in her vagina so that when he f her, it'll feel tighter. <laughs> Peter, maybe this isn't family conversation. No, no, wait, Lois, shut the f So she puts a liverwurst in her vagina, goes home with a guy, f him, everything seems fine. She wakes up the next morning, and he's gone. And he's left her a note that says, Thank you for a lovely evening. However, I don't think this is going to work out. P.S. Your vagina is in the sink. Now, I'm gonna leave the room now, as I have just myself again. Because today is Christmas Eve... Not yet, Griffin. Thank you. To let everyone leave a little bit early. Christmas! Fine. Everybody have a nice holiday. Teach. Hey, Watterson, see you at the... You just tried to set her teeth on fire with a lit cigarette? My nah, I'm just gonna drive around in my Lincoln. Weird people out. Bells on bobtail green, making spirits bright. Oh, what fun to laugh and sing a slaying song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way in a Lincoln AKC. The Family Guy Christmas Special, brought to you by Lincoln. Lincoln, what are we doing? You ever gonna kidnap white women? Lincoln. Ugh, oh, I love this time of year. You know, Chris, you and your stillborn twin, Tmiss, were named after Christmas. Well, as we know, the true spirit of the holiday is one of giving. So I've signed all of us up to volunteer tomorrow at a homeless shelter. That's your present. What? Last year you wrote us a freaking poem, and now this? <laughs> That's definitely good reason to fight a friend. That's like getting me a sweater for my birthday. Better chance of me strangling you with it than wearing it. I thought the poem was lovely. It'll be good for the kids. Nothing reminds you more of what you have than watching a grown man poo right through the split in his pants. Now let's finish decorating before your father gets home. You know, it's just like, you know, music and fashion, all that. You know, I can't be stopped. Whatever I do, you know, I just want to be the best because the best is never enough. 
The Family Guy Christmas Special, brought to you by Anthropomorphic Candy Canes. Family Guy, what are we doing? Dad's car is coming! He's coming fast! He can't wait to see us! Get out of the road, you idiots! And he's headed right to the bar. <laughs> you see your family on Christmas? Get out of the road, you idiots! And splash mud on them! Ah! So realistic! Clams on the other side of town. We now return to Twas the Night Before Christmas, as read by Norm MacDonald. Twas the Night Before Christmas. Wait, wait, twas? What's twas? Is that short for it was? What kind of rush are you in, man? You can't just say it was? Oh, you saved a lot of time there, fella. Oh, don't come at me with that it was stuff. I got things to do. The fritters twer warm. What's that? We're out of time. Oh, I'm fired. Hey, you know uh, O.J. Simpson is a wife-beating murderer, right? Oh, right, was. Twas! Well, I gotta get home. Every year we gather around and play Oh Holy Night from our favorite holiday album, A Very Slow Christmas with Pete Bo Bryson. Oh, holy. Well, I suppose I better get out of here before that over-enthusiastic group of carolers makes their way in here. Have you heard the story that they're telling about Bethlehem? Have you heard, Have you heard the, the story, story of the Jesus child? Uh, too late! Let's head out the back! How he came from heaven and was born in a manger bed of the beautiful Oh my god, they got Quagmire! Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah! Coming this holiday season, it's Star Blizzard! Using laser technology to shower your home in a blizzard of dazzling lights. I can light up my whole house for just pennies a day. I looked into it and now I'm blind! Honey, the house looks great! Who's there? Star Blizzard, <laughs> happy ho- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Who's there? <laughs> Holidays, and just don't look into it. Oh, Peter, you're finally home. Yep, just in time to watch Patrick Swayze's Christmas in Wonderland. Well, before you sit down, I just need you to do a couple things. Okay, first, I need you to take down last year's Christmas lights and put up this year's Christmas lights. Then shovel and salt the walk. Then shovel and salt the driveway. Then shovel and salt Mrs. Whitaker's driveway. She's nah, that, that sounds like a whole bunch of stuff that that uh, you would be a lot better at doing than me. So why would I want to keep you from doing something that you know that you can't get me to do so you have to do it yourself? Just save us both the time and headache of attempting to convince me that I care about any of these things. 96 and has no one to help her. No. We need four netted bags of cinnamon pine cones. Mm -hmm. Get the bags at Hobby Lobby and the pine cones at Pier 1. No. Then it's just laundry, take out the trash, and move the house a little bit to the left. Mm -mm. Uh, can I do some of that tomorrow? No, because tomorrow we're going down to volunteer at the homeless shelter. What time will you be back? You're coming with us. What? What does that have to do with Christmas? Peter, it's a holiday of giving back. Yeah, but bums? What kind of presents would they possibly have for us? Bags full of bags full of... Bags? Oh, is this it? Is this the divorce? Ouch. Where are you guys going? Every year, my parents invite us to their house to enjoy Christmas in Newport. And every year, we don't go because you don't want to. Well, this year, I am going, and the kids are coming with me. Go ahead. I'm fine by myself. Aw, oh, now I want to be on that side. Well, that didn't work. Merry Christmas, kids. Merry Christmas in Wonderland. Aha! Ah, I love you, Patrick Swayze. Peter. Hello? Santa? Santa? <laughs> you think Santa could fit into a pair of 22-inch waist jeans? Patrick Swayze? How is that even possible? You're dead! Ghost Road. House, house. Road ghost. The ghost of Patrick Swayze! I can't believe it! I just want to run through your hair like a dog bouncing in tall grass. Go ahead. <laughs> ghost house. Road house. That was awesome! Hey, where are we? Peter, you've lost your Christmas spirit. So I'm taking you on a journey to Christmas Pass to find it. Oh, wow! This is my old house from when I was a little kid. 
I've taken you all the way back to the year 1970-80-90. Hey! Hey, that's me! Look how skinny I am! Yay! It's Christmas! And I made your favorite, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Wow, these are all for me? Yay! Cookies at 7 a.m. Thank you, careless parents. I'm gonna eat them and hum. Mm -hmm. See? Look how happy I was. That's the Christmas spirit. I haven't felt that in years. Yeah, looks like your mom really went out of her way to make Christmas special for you. She sure did. Oh, hey, look, there's my friend Holden. Merry Christmas, Peter. Hold it in! 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 You died before Game of Thrones, but a, a lot of people will like that. What is this? Are we still in the past? No, this is the present. Christmas! What's this? Cold! What? Bang! Thank you, Santa! Daddy! You missed Santa! He was right here! I wonder I don't see Cleveland until New Year's. At least they're together. Well, I know one family that isn't together for Christmas. That was a delicious meal, Daddy. You all laughed when I suggested Boston Market. Well, who's laughing now? <laughs> it's time to call my grandmother, Nana Pewterschmidt. Nana, here is Kata. Fröhliche Weihnachten. Fröhliche Weihnachten. Ich bin hier mit Lois und ihrer Kinder, die ihre Liebe zu senden. What did she say? She wishes you a Merry Christmas. That's not what she said. Time for figgy pudding! Yay! Yay! Seems like they're having a good time without you. Oh, they're just pretending to have fun. I'm sure they miss me. We should probably call Dirt. You mean Dad? No, the fat guy who sleeps with Mom. More champagne, miss? Miss? Oh my. <laughs> it's been a long time since anybody's called me miss. Wow. <laughs> Merry Christmas, huh? <laughs> Oh my god, she's doing that flirty laugh she does. It's subtle, but when you've been married as long as we have, you notice these things. <laughs> You're very funny, Lance. Yeah, see, again, if you read between the lines, she's flirting. Well, this isn't a Merry Christmas. Yeah, there's the, there's no in-between the lines. The only in-between is that he's not somehow in-between her cheeks. You know what I mean? Which, honestly, give it about a good 20 more minutes. Uh, he'll be all in there. You know what I mean? Like white on Michael Jackson. We're gonna hit that out. It's at all! I don't like anything you're showing me, Pat! Oh my god, they got Joe. Have, Have you heard the story that they're telling? You're not scaring me with any of this, Patrick Swayze! And no matter what you show me, there's no way my family won't be right back here spending Christmas with me tomorrow! What? What's happening? I'm the ghost of Christmas yet to come. I'm shaping your future. You will see. Oops. That's what happens when I talk while I'm doing this. I can't believe our buddy's dead. I know. And it's so sad. He left his family with nothing. Yeah, Lois had to sell her clothes to get by. God, it's so sad. Who's this poor Benjamin that just died? Nobody ever said Benjamin. Poor dead Benjamin. All right, you're not getting it. Let me just take you to your house. Boy, I love the holiday season with my husband who's right upstairs, just out of frame. Oh, am I coming down? Oh, please tell me I lost the weight and kept it off this time. Merry Christmas! Who's that guy? That's Lois's new husband, Lance. I finally had the guts to leave her. Good for you, Peter. What about the kids? How are they doing? All right, everybody, I'm off to Colombia, <laughs> South America, where I will attempt to smuggle drugs back into the country in my rectum. Yeah, I knew there was some kind of rug pull coming. And I'm off to Yale. All right, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ahead of these. I'm going to Brown. Four boxes of Jimmy Dean pure pork sausage for my breakfast. Well, I'm proud all my kids got into Ivy League puns, but what happened to Brian? Hey, what's Brian doing out here in the graveyard? He usually sleeps at the foot of my bed. He still does. I'm dead? But how? You died from a fire started by your MILF on a shelf. Did I tell you I went to the mall with my daughter and an employee thought we were sisters? Yes, many times. I don't understand. Why didn't someone in my family save me? 
They went to Newport because you wanted to be by yourself, remember? Looks like you got what you wanted. Because I'm a dog fart now. What? Why? Because that's what happens when you lose your Christmas spirit. You spend all of eternity as a dog fart. Was this in the book? Yes, it was an obscure chapter written during Dickens' opium and spoiled lamb phase. But how do I... Please, Peter, don't lose your Christmas spirit. It's disgusting in there. He eats garbage in his own poo. Please, Peter, don't lose your Christmas spirit. This is no life for a person. Please, Peter, keep your Christmas spirit. Please, Peter, this is no life for a... No! No, please, spirits. No. No. Where, where am I? What day is it? All the porn girls I follow on Instagram have Santa hats on. Merry Christmas, triple X underscore Tara Kink underscore triple X. Merry Christmas to all the thirst traps. Thanks, Grandpa. This Christmas is perfect, isn't it, Mom? Almost, Meg. Let's see. I think this is for Chris. Good God. Looks like two eggs and an old handkerchief. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! Oh, man, I couldn't imagine anything worse than staring into another man's undercarriage. Dead! For Chris, a special People magazine look back at Robin Williams because he killed himself. Wow, look how thick the cover is. It's almost like a real book. For Stewie, a $2 styrofoam cooler. Awesome! For Brian, a Rhode Island sweatshirt with both road and island misspelled. Wow, it hurts when I put it on. A lawn chair that was 80% off because it's winter. Oh, Peter, I can't wait to drink outside in this. And finally, for Meg, a clock radio with an iPod jack for the iPods they don't make anymore. Dad, you've never bought me anything before. It's Christmas. Everything is for you. I love you, Peter. I love you too, Lois. And Patrick Swayze, thanks for helping me find the true spirit of Christmas. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Well, actually, there's one thing in heaven that Chris Farley won't do with me. I know exactly what you're talking about. Hit it! Hit what? Everyone's watching. Everybody wants a new... Na -na 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 for the weekend. Let's just keep opening presents. He'll tire himself out. Great idea. Here's one from Meg. And here's one for Stewie. Oh! And here's one for my beautiful ah! daughter. Everybody's working. Oh! Hey, you say anything funny? No, I just do quirky things for the sake of being quirky. You strike me as someone I wouldn't enjoy, but others might. This is why, you, Brian, you remember the last couple of weeks I kept saying, can I have a couple of minutes of your time to talk to you about something? This is what it was about. This evening is ruined. Okay, just so I'm sure, really? Are, are you just trying to piss me off, or is that really how you say that? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this ruined evening. That's no, regular Mark Spitz. Wait, are you Stephen Hawking at the beach? No, I'm Mark Spitz! You won seven gold medals! Well, look, Lois, I appreciate it, but I I'm not into fix-ups. Oh, come on, you gotta get yourself back out there. Oh, Brian, Lois has told me so much about you. Wow, you're even more handsome than she said. Have you ever had any sex that was voluntary? No, I have not. Yeah, have a good evening. Come on, buddy, let's go. <laughs> yep, with a capital C. On that one, you should just find a fat one, because all chicks is crazy like they're always wearing tampons. That doesn't make any sense to me, but it rhymed, so congrats to me. Everything gonna be a poem. Say I'm lying. Oh, I know. I'm an atheist. Really? So am I. It's all yours. I feel bad taking the last copy. Swear to God? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I know, I'm just messing. Well, uh, listen, uh, here, here's my address. Thanks. See you later. I'm expecting a very important package. Another one? You haven't even opened the one that came for you a week ago. My hat kept blowing away, so I put the package on it so I wouldn't lose it. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You don't wear a hat, and there's no wind in here. Oh! You know, uh, I was really glad you sent me the book. I won't lie to you, I came this close to praying that I'd see you again. Good thing you didn't, because who, who would, would hear, hear it, it, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I love being a part of things. I'll bring you dessert now. <laughs> oh, man. This is funny, though. She seems to be a friendly hoe, even though with Family Guy, we know it's not going to end well, though. I'm sorry.
<laughs> oh, me too, Brian. As we would take the moonlight on the lake the last summer, I'll remember all. <laughs> Sometimes I get my green on. But snorting stuff up my nose. That's not even me, dog. Dang, that didn't rhyme good. Why she only look like she got one titty though? Uh, freestyle. Uh, drop the beat. Drop the beat. Drop the beat. Freestyle on the one titty. Call this the single titty freestyle. Uh. <laughs> uh man, how long before I get in trouble? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the beat though, she probably a freak ho Even though it seems right now she got one teeth though Single titty freestyle Uh <laughs> Why do I feel like if I really dropped the freestyle called the single titty freestyle <laughs> Skeets and teats oh. hey. To prove that I was strong The things we did last summer I had a really great time tonight, Brian. Well, is there any reason it has to end? Don't do it, Brian. I'm saving you from yourself, Brian. You almost went in there and tried to have sex with that girl. So, what's wrong with that? That's why you can't maintain a relationship. You always try too soon and end up blowing it. Think about it. God, you know, maybe you're right. Listen, um... No! Oh! If you hang out with a chick, and your time was hella lit, you should give the chick some D. If not, she'll get some other dick. And that's from the heart. I, I gotta go. Really? Don't no. worry, you'll see me again. No. No. Good job, Brian. No! Don't worry, I'll help you through this. Gosh, I really enjoyed the movie tonight. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a touching comedy because Robin Williams had a beard. Ugh, oh, my back is so stiff from sitting in that theater chair. You know, I uh, took a Thai massage class yes. at the Learning Annex. Yes. <laughs> Pull her <laughs> single titty out. Oh, that's an awfully loud owl. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't do it, Brian! Uh, of course, I'll tell you what would really set you right. Never listen to dudes who ain't getting. Talking about they got game, but they ain't never hitting. Find a girl, plug her up the minute she's down to get filled. You know what I'm saying? Cause... It's a couple of a leave and a good night's no. sleep. No. Oh, oh, oh. Good job, Brian. No. Oh, oh. Get lost, Stewie. No. I am getting laid tonight. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to taking it slow? I have been taking it slow. We've been going out for three weeks and I haven't tried anything. Even though she's been giving me some pretty strong signals. So, do you have any thoughts on what you might want to do tonight? Oh, I don't know. Uh, okay, thanks. That's very helpful. Bruh, you she be a wonderful stupid, lover, Brian. Stupid! Stupid! Females ain't looking for no husbands and any of that crap. Why are they trying to bust these nuts like There it is! Oh my there god! Carolyn? Cleveland? Oh, hey, Brian. Close that window. You're letting all the stank out. Carolyn, what are you talking about? We've been dating for three weeks. Well, you never- No, we haven't! Bruh, women is like dudes! The only dudes that they say they don't- That they don't care about sex to Is dudes they don't have care to have sex with! You made a move on me, so I thought you just wanted to be friends. Oh. And I met Cleveland, and things just kinda took off. But, Carolyn, you completely misunderstood me. I, I wanted you like crazy, but... I just figured if I showed a little restraint, you'd respect me. I do. As do I. Now, why don't you go hop on that gay bike of yours and go get yourself a lollipop or a cupcake or something? <laughs> That's exactly what that's like. Yeah, I've had it happen to me. You know what I mean? Don't make a move on a chick. Chick throwing strong signals, hella trying to smash, and, you know, try to take it slow to show her that you ain't thirsty, and then she just end up drinking some other dude. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is happens to all of us, but you can lower the chances of it happening to you, my friend. Yeah, you know I mean. So, Carolyn, guess you should have hit that when you had the chance. Oh! Huh, what? You're the one who told me to wait. Oh, you're crazy, bitch. I didn't say that, bitch. Not like. I would fight him. Thirty-seven-year-old woman on a blind date fun. 
Oh, this is fun, right? We're having fun. I mean, so what if you forgot your wallet? I'll pay. I'm gonna pay for us. No, I just felt like killing. Uh... <laughs> I know what always makes me feel better. Delicious sweets. Holly, welcome to Fjord's Bakery. Would you like a hot piece of pee? It's on what? loose. What? Oh, Ooh. no. You're covered in my hot pee. Why? What's in there? Oh, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, wait. Mm. Wait. Okay, look, next time we'll go to another store. How about that? Just forget it, all right? I just want to sit here, watch the ball game, and have a few beers. It's ball three, low and outside to Ramirez. Wait a minute, what's this? There appears to be an interracial couple making love on second base. The Boy, what are the odds of running into Cleveland and Carolyn everywhere we went, huh? Well, as long as we just stay here in the house, we're safe, right? Oh. Yeah, Cleveland, she's way more fun than that wife you used to have. What, what was her name? Wheezy or Florida or something? Jennifer Hudson? Loretta. Well, you're doing a lot Loretta. better now, Cleveland. I mean, you went from a black woman to a white woman without having to take that Hispanic woman step in between. We've just got to go talk to Loretta. If we can get her back with Cleveland, Carolyn's all yours. Well, it's a long shot. But so was the shouting Arab gram business. Just let me do the talking. No, I think I can communicate with her better. She's only going to get the gist of what you're saying. Really? Isn't she one of those people outside the family who can understand me? No, I think because of Cleveland, she's close enough to the main cast that it might be a little weird. Stop it! What are you doing here? Uh, well, to be honest, Loretta, uh, Cleveland sent us. He really wants you back. What? Yeah, he says he misses that... Perfect... Figure. I'm sorry. Brian, may I speak with you? Oh, Cleveland. I didn't recognize you without my girlfriend wrapped around your waist. <sighs> I guess it's okay. These are passing flings, nothing to get upset about. Good, because we're gonna elope in Hawaii tomorrow night. What? Loretta? Hello, Cleveland. What are you doing here? Cleveland, I've been doing some thinking lately nope. about how much I miss you. No. Nope. I'm sorry for hurting you. No. Nope. I want us to be together again nope. as a family and- All you can do is su- Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. I, I don't know what to do. Carolyn and I are supposed to elope tomorrow, but here comes Loretta all apologetic and wanting to get our family back together and whatnot. Well, uh, just, just wait a minute, you guys. Let's not be so quick to demonize Loretta. I mean, whatever happened to forgive and forget? No. Oh, you just want Cleveland out of the picture so you can get back with Carolyn. You know, Brian, sometimes I don't believe I know you. Hmm. I guess nope. at the very least I could go talk to her tomorrow and see how I feel. Nope. Thanks for your help, nah. Griffins. Slightly abrasive. But overall, Loretta is a delightful person, very pleasant to be around, and free to pursue a life of religious fulfillment. What Loretta did was unforgivable. I hope he doesn't go back to her. I hear you, Lois. You know, there might be a way to drive the point home that she hasn't changed. Well, how would we do that? Hang on. Hey, Quagmire! Would you mind getting Loretta to sleep with you again? Uh, I possibly. I mean, in, in what context? Well, we're trying to make Cleveland see that she's no good and that he can't trust her. And if he catches you guys in the act, then oh, okay. Oh, no, no, okay, no, I'm, I'm with you now. Yeah, no, yeah, you know, I can probably work that in. I love you for all that you are. In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of the world's wealth, every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again with this? What's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you filthy Jew. <laughs> we have a. Was he talking to her? Mind your own business, you filthy. Club sandwich, a fruit plate, and a side of hot beef steak. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <gasps> Glenn Quagmire, you get out of here. Come on, baby, time for round two. Oh, oh. Apache penis, e nay chuck. <laughs> ah! You go on and beat it, little neck. I'm a changed woman. I don't mess with your kind anymore. Uh, hey, Cleveland. Why are you staying in a hotel? Uh, my house burned down. Oh, why are you naked? Naked? But everybody's been telling me I'm wearing magnificent robes made from the finest silk. <gasps> Cleveland! Hello, Loretta. Oh, come in, baby. H have you thought about what I said? Yes, I have. And I still love you, Loretta. 
Oh, Cleveland! Loretta, I came over here wanting to believe that there was still a chance for us. But on the way, I passed a lake, skipped a few rocks, and had some black guy thinking time. What you and I, you can go ahead and put your clothes back on. What you and I had was a wonderful thing. And as much as I still have a great day. Bruh, you gotta smash first, then give her this speech. Is that not the right order? It is for me. Deal of love for you. Our time is over. I love somebody else. You can live your life, Loretta. Live it as full and as wonderful as you can. I love you. <gasps> oh my god! Curling? Quagmire? Well, we both got screwed by the same girl. Yep. I guess it's all right, though. You and I will find true love someday. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. Stagnant. What are you talking about? We go places. We took that helicopter tour of Tucson. Peter, I'm talking about real travel. We can finally afford to go somewhere good. Mm. Joe and Bonnie went to Europe and had the time of their lives. Hey, I know a place you can go, Lois. Hell, there, I said it. Let's shut your mouth. Lois, oh. I hate traveling. Besides, my passport picture was awful. Ugh, you look like a human cigarette. But it's not just about you, Peter. Think about the family. That's right, and I'm gonna prove it to you. I got more culture in my pinky toe than all of Europe put together. Oh my god! I got ringworm too, but it's not classy like this. Okay, kids, now this is the Quahog Museum of Science. A magical place of cultural exploration. Now, one thing that makes us more cultured than our European counterparts is high school football. And why are we standing here in the parking lot? Because sometimes your team loses and you have to beat up the ref. Oh. Oh. What part of Eatonville you from, huh? What part oh. of Eatonville you from? Oh, West Eatonville. Oh, really? West Eatonville? Do you know Bob Hanley? I'm Bob Hanley. Listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. Everyone, I've got... Why does Chris hit harder than Peter? What a surprise! Whoa! I did not see that coming! No, Chris, I haven't said it yet. Today was the last day of the low airfares, and I couldn't let the opportunity pass, so... I got us tickets to Italy! That's amazing, Mom! Lois, is Peter okay with us? I already bought the tickets. Tickets for what? Uh, uh, tickets for the, um, the grand opening of the biggest water park in all of Rhode Island. Hmm. Well, pardon my skepticism, Lois, but I didn't read about this in the latest issue of Water Park Enthusiast Weekly. That, that this new park would put all other water parks out of business. Typical big water. Always keeping the public in the dark. So this one's bigger than Raging Waters? Yeah, Dad, it's way bigger. But it can't be bigger than Six Flags Atlantis. Oh, it is, Peter. It is, because it's Seven Flags Atlantis. <gasps> That's a whole flag more of water. Get in the car! Okay, everyone put the sunblock on now, so when we get off the plane, we go right to the park. Wait, why are we on a plane? Peter, we're not going to a water park. We're going to Italy. What? Well, what about Seven Flags Atlantis? Peter, don't be silly. There's no such place. This is your captain speaking. If you look out the left side of the airplane, you'll see the very popular Seven Flags Atlantis. Aww. <laughs> oh. I can't believe you tricked me into going to Italy. Peter, our family too. could use a trip like this. Plus, it might be good for you and me, too. It's the most romantic country in the whole world. And God knows we could use a little romance in our marriage. They got Valentine's Day candy before Valentine's Day? Is that what they mean by romance? Did you like that game of mysterious intruder, Lois? I told you. I don't know who you are. And my name isn't Lois. Mine is... Let's do it again. Is it true there's no drinking age here? And they serve wine at every meal? Oh, Meg, nobody likes a drunky chunky. In college, a lot of guys are gonna make you a dare. 
Hey, you know what, guys? We're six hours ahead here. I'm gonna call Joe and tell him the future. Hey, Joe, guess what's about to happen? Who is this? It's Peter. That's impossible. Peter died six hours ago. <gasps> we can't go back. Look, kids, this is the forum where the ancient Romans used to have their famous political debate. And this is the penthouse forum where dirtbags write letters about boning in the back of grocery stores. Well, who wants to see where the ancients established the foundation of our American democracy? And who wants to hear a story about a girl who moved to New York without any underpants? Peter, the kids are going to the Italian circus, so... I thought it might be romantic if we watched the sunset from St. Peter's Basilica. You go ahead. I'm gonna stay here and get frustrated with this non-responsive hotel TV remote. Come on, guide! I'm pressing guide! Stupid remote's not doing anything! Peter, you can't just sit in front of the TV the entire vacation. You know, I'm really getting tired of you being such a complete stick in the mud. Is that some kind of gay slur? I can't believe it's too much for you to watch a sunset with your wife in one of the most romantic cities in the world. But you know what? It's probably for the best because you just complain about it. What do you expect, Lois? I didn't want to come here in the first place. I'd rather be back home. Fine. You just sit here on the couch. I'll go enjoy Italy without you. God, what the hell's her problem? You know, sometimes I think you forget how lucky you are to have Lois. Otherwise, you, you wouldn't be acting like such a jerk. Oh, I'm getting it from you now? Don't worry about Lois. Well, you might want to look out there. What the hell's she doing with that Italian guy? Let me give you a tour on a Vespa. I show you all of the things I do all day that make me smell like this. Hey, Lois, what the hell's going on here? Uh, we're just having fun, Peter. Something you know nothing about. Oh, man, she really is upset. Having lady problems, are you, pal? Dean Martin? What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. Well, you're in Italy, ain't you? I think so. I, I haven't been paying attention. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna ride this rigatoni into the sky. Hey, get away from him! Peter, you okay? What happened? I was watching you from the window. When Lois pulled away on that motorcycle, you laid down on the ground and went to sleep. Well, I'm awake now, Brian, and I know what I gotta do. Well, before you do anything, for God's sake, put some clothes on. Brian, calm down. In some countries, this is a compliment. What the hell? The hell it is. Alan? Mi amore! I am here to put you on a pedestal with Italian romance. Peter, showing up here in that stupid costume isn't gonna win me over. That's because you lack the passion of a true Italian. Mi amore. Mm, mm. Peter, stop it. Because that's the way you, you show a true romance. You hit the... That's what'll show her you care. <laughs> but in his defense, he did kiss her afterwards, which kind of makes it better. At least I think it should. Oh! Well, by the laws of Italy, I must now kiss myself passionately. Pina, are you all right? Are you kidding? I'm great! Bouncing around Italia, because I'm a little ball. Lois, to prove my love, I have convinced 20,000 soccer fans to hold up a romantic message just for you. Okay, I'll admit it. This is pretty romantic. Listen, Lois, I'm sorry. I thought that was sexual, man. I was like, canal, later. <laughs> Birth canal. <laughs> Please? Thank for being such a jerk, all right? I love you. I want to have your baby. Uh, not on a boat. Peter. Wow, Peter, last night was the best sex I've ever had. Me too. I wish we never had to leave. Well then, let's not. Let's live here. What? Peter, but, but we've built a life back in Quahog. Yeah, but you were right, Lois. We were stagnating back home. Let's start a new life right here in Italy. 
Now those were our passports. We don't need them anymore. Kids, I got an announcement. He's wearing a rubber. We're staying in Italy. We're Italian now. What? Are you kidding? Hey, Peter, what's a you rush? I got the most beautiful woman in the world at home, and I have no one to keep her waiting. Hey, Vincenzo, play me a tune, huh? Ah, <sighs> Italy. It's 9 a.m., and I've already kissed eight guys twice. Why are you looking at the other babies, huh? Why are you making me do that, Ruperto? I don't want to do that. Hey. What are you looking at other babies for, huh? What the... <laughs> That's all you gotta do it, yo. <laughs> Peter, I know you love it here, but riding your bike around town isn't paying the bills, and the kids aren't learning anything at that Italian school. Well, there it is. Cartoon proof, which either uh, may or may not stand up in a court of anything. That... It's just no, there's no making them happy. You know what I mean? Oh, man, I want romance. Give romance. Look, I, you ain't got no money. Give money. Where's the romance? Ha, 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 ha. I think maybe it's time to go back to our real home in Quahog. But I thought you loved Italy and Italian Peter and Southern Italian Peter. Olive oil. I do, but I love American Peter even more. Lois is right. We're barely surviving here. I mean, you have to give most of what you earn to the mafia that terrorizes this village. Oh, certo. La compagnia vi rimborserà, ma sarà un'impresa. Ci sono tantissime pratiche, documenti da fermare, e sarà sempre come se non ti credono per tutto il tempo. Peter, I think it's time we all go back home. Of course we have to leave as soon as I get an Italian boyfriend. You know, I still don't understand what he does for a living. He gathers coins from the air by jumping on mushrooms. What's so hard to understand? I may go out and somehow smash Super Mario. And why is that a step in the right direction for her? But then again, he is a superhero. I mean, I he does take mushrooms and, and jumps on people smaller than himself, you know, as a job. But you know what? I, you cannot hate on his hustle. You know, he... he and, and he stayed saving that female who, and he stayed saving Peach, who's clearly been having sex with Bowser this entire time. Like, they've got, like, four kids. I don't know how no one knows this stuff. So, you see, Mr. Consulate, all we want to do is get back to our home in America. So, can we have our new passports now? Mr. Griffin, it's not as simple as that. Your family must take a citizenship test and go through the immigration process like any other foreigner. Foreigner? We're not foreigners. Sorry, Mrs. Griffin. Not only did you destroy your passports, you renounced your citizenship. All right, Meg. Part of being an American citizen is having an opinion on certain hot-button political issues. Now, what is your abortion stance? Uh, it's pretty much this. Now, if you will, please sing the national anthem of the United States. Oh, say can you see Twilight's last gleaming Hang I Okay, I've reviewed your You see that? Yeah! See this! Last gleaming Hang Okay, I've reviewed your application. Now, where you listed employment, some of you wrote Family Guy and others wrote The Family Guy. Which one is it? It's Family Guy. All right, now that you've completed your initial application, it will need to be filed by an immigration lawyer at a cost of approximately $5,000 per person. And assuming that all goes through, you should have your citizenship back in 16 months. No! What a weird guy. Oh, this is terrible. Peter, what are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna sneak in. Well, we better get there soon. I wanna be there for opening night of Karate Kid 5. Karate Kid 5 coming out? Is that confirmed? Tony Danza. <laughs> Thank you.
suck Peter to get. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, screw that, bro. You ain't. I ain't. Well, I'm so glad to finally be back home in Kohog. Although I will miss Italy. You made the trip very special for me, Peter. And we met a lot of... See, now it's back to the other thing. God, pick, make up what you want. A lot of great people. Hey, what about that couple we met in Amalfi? Did you get their number? I did. You ready? Yep. Okay, it's 19565-55018-0168945-2. Well, I can't wait to see the rest of the world with you guys. Hey, where's Quagmire? Actually, I haven't seen him all week. Methinks he found a new lady friend. Don't say methinks ever again, Joe. Hey, there he is. Hey, guys. What, what's all this? Oh, this little oogie woogie is my new friend Albertine, who thinks she's French. She loves to smoke and feels it's not truly a meal unless you serve bread. Isn't that right, Albertine? You gotta serve bread? I don't believe she's ever said any of that. So where have you been low these many days? No! Well, you know how there's hardly any cat cafes in town? Well, I decided to open a cat cafe. What's a cat cafe? It's like a coffee shop, except one where lots of cats live and roam. Hmm, he thinks the cat cafe sounds like a great idea. That's it, Joe. I challenge you to a duel. Pistols at midnight. Oh! Peter, did you bring a flamethrower? No. I also didn't bring one of them laser guns from Ghostbusters. Yo, look, look, I got me a West. Ah! Ah! Good. We'll keep him till we get a new mayor. Principal Shepard, we were so surprised to get your call. What's going on? Mrs. Griffin, Meg, and Chris were caught cheating. What? Yes, they had the lost boys of the Sudan standing in for them in gym class. Nice block, Griffin. Nice shot, other Griffin. It's like the buff and athletic left twins. You can tell because they're lanky as hell, which wasn't meant to rhyme, but I'll take what I can get at this point. This is terrible. What do you think about this, Peter? Bad, very bad. <laughs> Here it is, guys. What do you think? I'm realizing I may have a cat allergy. I think it's great, Glenn. And people really seem to be enjoying themselves. Boy, if I could clean myself with my tongue, I'd never leave the house. No. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's like if I had nine lives, maybe I'd finally find a man. <laughs> You's joining me. No. No. No find you a man if you got that hook that up you know what i'm saying you need to hit a couple of these and some of these you know what i mean some of these you know what i'm saying like as a dude i couldn't do that i'd be ripped apart if i look like pre-jail gucci mane going out every day and expecting to find that dime i don't think I would find very much of anything even close to that two digit of a number. I look like I'm in my third trimester and I'm out there dragging it dry and expecting to get a good result from it. Not a good look. Peter, we have to talk. What fireworks? After what happened today with Meg and Chris at school, I sent an email to my sister. And five minutes later, Google Ads suggested a Christian family camp. Yeah, the world's better now that corporations read our most private communications and then sell back at us the very things they've eavesdropped about. Speaking of that, they doing me worse than the random calls I get of people trying to sell me car insurance to cars I know I don't own. How do they keep making money? It's our belief that you're such a stupid mother You'll fall for this bull guaranteed. Even before this, I'd worried about our church attendance dropping off. Now with the kids showing a complete lack of morals, well, we may all need to go to Christian family camp. 
Lois, you know I love you like a brother, but I'm not doing it. How you love your wife like a brother? That sounds awful. Nat, I'd only get in an awkward campfire crackle argument with a counselor. Jesus has love for everyone. Uh, actually, what Jesus has is the might of Western civilization. Jesus has guns, germs, and steel. Sorry, the wood is very wet. Uh, actually, the wood is very dry. Wet wood hisses, dry wood crackles during uncomfortable silence. What the, what the hell is that? <gasps> hey, shut up! Don't look at me! I'm dominant! Ryan, what are you doing here? <laughs> what am I doing here? What is all this? I happen to own this place. Now get out of here. You're making all my cats angry. That's why they're hissing. Actually, frightened cats hiss. Angry cats moan. I'm not going anywhere. Fine. But I'm about to become your worst nightmare. I've already had my worst nightmare. I told you about my worst nightmare, right? No, I, I don't think so. Well, first, I'm driving through a forest, but it's actually inside, which is weird, right? Okay. And there's all these people in the van who normally wouldn't know each other in real life. My second grade teacher, my mom, Joe. All the kids are yelling at me in German, and I understood them, but I don't speak German. And then SNL is starting, and I'm clearly in the cast, and I haven't been to any of the rehearsals, and all the cue cards are blank, and that show is all cue cards. And just as that's sinking in, I realize I'm also the musical guest. Who do I think I am? Silver chair? And the weird thing is, I have this dream over and over. Listening to other people's nightmares is my worst nightmare! Ah. Oh, thank God. Okay, Peter. The kids and I are off to church camp. Meg, Chris, the vans are here. Wait a minute. You got any booze in that bag, mister? No, sir. Well, then how are you going to make any friends at camp? There you go. Now chug all this next to a lake, you little rascal. Shut down the cat cafe. It's a nuisance and a threat to public health. <sighs> oh, for God's sake. City Ordinance 321C states, food or drink shall not be prepared or consumed within 20 feet of fecal matter. Damn it, Brian. This entire operation needs to be shut down. And as long as Brian's got your attention, is it taking anyone else longer to wipe? More wipes these days? I'm taking shorter poops, but with longer wipes. And there's always this one little line. I swear to God, it's like there's a crayon down there. Hey, that's actually real, man. I don't know what it is. Something with the switching of the times, man. It's, it's, it's crazy out here. Son of a gun, it was a crayon. Wikipedia states that toxoplasmosis is a parasitic disease spread by exposure to infected cat feces. Damn it, Brian, get out of here. You're scaring away my customers. They also ring you up on one of those tablets they flip around at you and then glare while you pick from three inflated tip percentages. You can also chew... <laughs> that has happened to me on numerous occasions. You don't know think that pisses me off about the, the tip percentages? Why do they have tipping percentages now? at places that don't even serve the food to you. Tip you for what? You handed me the bag. Tip for how? Can you imagine that? I'm the store clerk and I hand you your sandwich and I hand you your fruit that you just bought in produce and I have to ask for a tip. That just goes to show you how over entitled people are starting to act. First they want extra money just because they weren't being shit to you. Now they want money just for handing you a bag. Next thing you know, you gotta start paying money just to walk through the door. You gotta cut the cord, people. Use no tip. But that option is, by design, much less prominent. You're a jerk, but fine. If it's a fight you want, you got one. I will squash you like a bug. Well. That's enough of that show. But Dad, we want to see what happens at Christian camp. All right, but they're on thin ice. Welcome to Sunrise Woods Bible Camp. I'm the camp director, Vera. Nice to meet you. We're the Griffins. Why are all these trees bunched together? Th those are woods, Chris. I only like rooms. What a lovely setting. 
Yes. The fresh air really helps clear your mind of thoughts of Tom Selleck. Oh, how frighteningly specific. Ugh, Mom, this place sucks. It's even worse than when Dad sent us to 1940s comedy school. Say, Corporal, what are you writing in your diary? It's private. Take a look. Now that's some good, clean fun. Also in the 1940s, six million Jews died. That's it. We're done. This show is not for the Bugsteins. Good evening. Quite a battle brewing. Clever news pun doesn't really work, as I haven't yet mentioned the subject of the story. At Quahog's new cat cafe, Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa filed this report. Tom, I'm standing here outside of Quahog's new cat cafe. Local resident Brian Griffin has described the cafe as a threat to public health. That's right, Trisha. And since I'm on local TV, I'm going to talk a little too loud, and then occasionally I'm going to turn away from the microphone to point at things off camera, so my overall point is lost. Powerful claims. Thank you, Brian. Okay, Brian, I brought everything we need. Water, sunscreen, fruit roll-ups, batteries. Stewie, you know you're not allowed to have fruit roll-ups. Damn, I tried to bury it in there. What are you even wearing? Oh, this is what Princess Diana wore to protest landmines. It's sad she's not around to watch her son go bald. Brian, I'm glad you're here. Based on the various public health concerns you raised, the city has decided to shut this establishment down. Really? You're closing the cafe? That's right. Thanks to you, I'm out of business. I certainly hope you're happy. Oh, nice top, Stewie. Come on, lock it up. Until the Board of Health gives the okay, you're done. Wow. I actually got the place shut down. I'm glad I was here for this, Brian. We've hardly done anything together since we made that fiber commercial and had to use code words for pooping. Wow, Brian, I've never felt so regular. Yes, you seem exceptionally active while maintaining proper body health. That's right. Just two spoonfuls a day to stay regular and active. More coffee, Stewie? Yes, please. Oh, dear, that was a mistake. Wait, uh, you mean you're about to be active? Currently active. Cut to the shot of them stirring the product into water. Gurgle Max, take a massive comfort. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's regular on the carpet. Oh, there's so much regular. <laughs> I'm standing here with Peter Griffin. Peter, congratulations on your big night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, how's uh, Mr. Reddy's father doing? <laughs> That's fresh. Peter, how do you respond to the accusations that you were responsible for the series cancellation? Well, the show had been on for a while, and uh, I was talking to Alan Alda, and he said the same thing that uh, Doc Cosby told me, that it was my face out there, and I should take creative control. So I did. And we pushed the envelope creatively, and I stand by my work. Peter, can we cut? This isn't working for me. Hey, who yells cut, Cleveland? The only one who yells cut is the director. Look, if you want me to f*** this chick, I'll f*** her. But don't make me go through all this bullshit. You're showing a real ugly side, Griffin. Did I miss my cue? Although I probably pushed things too far when I did the incest episode. No! Oh, uh, hi, Mom. Hi, Chris. No! Wrong! It's wrong! Still, that said, I'm not the one who put us up against friends and Survivor. What have you been doing since? I had a couple of part-time jobs that didn't work out. What? I thought you could just go in the suit. You know, like the astronauts. And your wife, Lois, is looking... Astronauts can go to the bathroom in their suits? I'm in the wrong job, man. I need to be... Astronaut in the end, bro. Very lovely. How does it feel to be back? Ah, it feels good. It was a very dark period for me for a while. License and registration. Oh, f you. Do you know who I am? I'm afraid I don't, ma'am. Please give me your license and registration. Ma'am, what are you doing? I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh! <laughs> yep. Spray her again. Spray her again. They need to know. All right, so who's getting married, huh? You? All right, sweetheart, we're gonna have some fun, huh? Here we go! No! 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 Uh. What happened? 
What am I watching? I I I, I thought I was a mating dance. I ain't incest and Lois getting a gangbang ran on her. They got she running the choo choo train with married dudes, man. I. How do I know if I want it if I can't taste it? Do you know who I am? Bonnie Franklin? <laughs> um, I did a guest spot on the West Wing. It's not normally what I do, but I really got a chance to flex my dramatic muscle. I got eight guys from Tallahassee who want this bill pushed through. What's the latest on those refugees? They off the coast yet? Look, we're getting a lot of internet chatter. I think we can justify raising the threat level. What you do on your own time is not my business, but damn it, when you're here, I want you to maintain a professional veneer. I need to talk to Jerry about how we're going to spin the unemployment numbers. So I'm going to get my wife on the phone, tell her I changed my mind, the blue dress is fine, and I need the briefing for that meeting on the situation in Argentina. I found it! I found the cheese! Oh boy, cheese! <laughs> I love you, cheese. Yeah, I would the only cheese I'd do that for is pepper jack. You know what I mean? That's for that's real. Yeah you know I'm saying like that just looked like a regular wheel of cheese. I ain't you know what I mean I ain't I ain't struggling for no regular piece of cheese, you say. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of things, but the thing I think I'm most proud of is when I volunteered to entertain the troops. <laughs> Turn back time If I could find a way I take back those words that hurt you and you'd stay If I could reach the stars I'd give them all to you And you love it love me be like that when unattractive chicks dance like just burn everything that set set my eyes on fire why what did i do to deserve this i don't deserve this <laughs> and stewie we all know you kept busy oh yes it was exhausting between shooting films and those damn talk shows <laughs> <laughs> apparently this is just a big episode of of uh of nasty shit i am not sorry pretty sure you guys aren't either how's it going great beautiful day oh gorgeous you know, we, we sit here and force small talk while they have the time of their lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, girl. What the... <sighs> ah! Sorry, uh, I, I ah! thought I smelled cookies. Wow, does it really smell like cook? Oh, God, she fought it and it went down my throat. Some television. We now oh. return to World's Sluttiest Dogs on Fox. Nick, what? No! 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 Hey, wait up! Come over here and meet Seabreeze, my prize-winning dog. Isn't she a perfect specimen? I mean, look at these legs and that beautiful coat. And feel the heat coming off of her genitalia. You could roast a marshmallow. That's how you can tell she's a champion. Go on, put your hand there. Yeah, I've been using that same formula on females for years, man, and it does work. Please don't do this. <laughs> I legitimately, okay, look, peep game. I legitimately tricked this one female into believing that's how you could tell if a guy was good at sex or not, or if a guy had like good genitalia. 
is if you took your hand and you put it over it, like over his pants, over the crotch of his pants, if you can feel the heat coming off of it, then you know it was good. I told this female that, bruh. She tried it on like two dudes before she came to be mad. <laughs> For anybody who's my friend, man. Oh my god, she did it to like two dudes, man. I need to kick it with her again, man. She was she was dumb. She was dumb in a cute way. <laughs> really, chick? Oh, oh boy, that is that. Is that, that something? That, that that is something. That is that, that that is hot. Isn't she the most beautiful dog you've ever seen? Yes, yes, she she is a beautiful dog. Dog. You've got nothing to worry about. Seabreeze is a sure thing. Seabreeze? Dad, where are the jockeys? They're all in the laundry, son. I'm going Indian today. Ah. He means going commando. His his junk is out. That's what he's... Hello, Seabreeze! Yeah! <laughs> go, 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 go! <sighs> What's Brian doing? Oh my god. He's violating Seabreeze. No, no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating Seabreeze. You're almost there, Seabreeze. Oh, and uh, also, uh, I, I didn't bring this up before, but uh, promise me you won't eat any of them. You know, Brian, it occurs to me that this is like a Greek tragedy where a man must choose between himself and his children. Of course, you'll be playing the role of Sans Testicles. <laughs> We're ready for you down the hall. Are you sure you want to go through with this, Brian? Because, you know, you could have puppies with another dog. Oh, or maybe with a condor. Yeah, they need to have flying puppies. Do you like that, Brian? Eh? Huh? Flying puppies? No, Peter. Those puppies in there are mine, and I'll give anything to be with them. Anything. Oh, I am not looking forward to what you're going to be like once they do this to you. Oh, I love chocolate. But I can't eat it because then I'll get fat. But it's so good. Are you ready, Brian? I guess so. Stop! Brian, come quick! Oh my god! Those aren't my puppies! Well, I'm. Who's that? The Feast of San Gennaro. Every child here has seen a relative murdered in a barber chair. Step right up! Teach an old Italian lady how to use an iPad! Now that sounds like fun. I'll give it a try. Hey, how are you? Look what I got for you. What is it? It's a tablet computer. I'm trying to do something nice here. For the last time, I don't want it. I bet you if Joey was giving it to you, you'd take it. Don't you bring him into this. Joey was a good boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, Joey was a good boy. You thought he was making a hundred grand a year hauling lumber? Oh, yeah, sure. Light another candle. That'll bring him back. You watch your tongue. <laughs> Admit it. You wish it was me in that car instead of him. Just take your little TV and go. It's an iPad, you dumb cow. Oh, I guess I don't have any sons now. Ma! <laughs> Hey, Brian, look over there. Well, lost that immediately. That guy looks like Frank Sinatra Jr. Stewie, this is Federal Hill. Everybody looks like Frank Sinatra Jr. Well, then who's that guy who looks like a young Frank Sinatra? Oh, that's Woody Allen's son. But you're right, that other guy behind him is Frank Sinatra Jr. Then who's Elliot? I, I really wouldn't know. This is a bad start to whatever we're doing. Well, now, what brings you fellas to the festival? My dad will drive long distances for ice with colored liquid in it. They got blue! And we all love the Italian food. Well... Maybe the three of us ought to open an Italian restaurant there. Open our own Italian restaurant? I say, that sounds fun. You, uh, you keep meatballs in your jacket? Oh, yeah, all my pockets are lined with Reynolds wrap. I learned that from my old buddies, Dean Martin Jr., Joey Bishop Jr., and Sammy Davis III. Step right up. Everybody take a chance on a whack a big a pussy. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. This is not what I thought it was! Oh my god, Chris is out of control! I know! Must be all the violence in movies and sex on TV! Peter, we need to talk about what happened at the street fair. Lois, it's an Italian festival. You're supposed to yell Bella Bella and grab as much fat ass as you can. No, I'm talking about Chris. I had no idea he had so much pent-up aggression. We have to deal with his anger issues before... 
It doesn't count as a laugh. Love your guy hit two. I gotta get down to the business center to print out my boarding pass. Oh, oh hey, that's oh. gonna leave a mark. <laughs> that's from a movie. Oh. So are you girls traveling with your dad here? Hey, don't kick him, muddy shoes. He's got a white suit on. I'm glad he didn't hit her back, man, but I was rooting for him to do it when I first saw the video. I'm like, just give her one good uppercut to the throat. She'll, she'll shut it down. <laughs> Okay, Chris, your mom and I want to help you get out some of that aggression, so I thought you and me could huck rotten apples at passing cars. Well, we needed it. Wow, can I have a turn? Hey, which one of you threw that apple at my car? He did it. He dragged me out here. I wanted to be in school, sir. Mm, free weights? No, mostly JPEGs of Helen Hunt on my hard drive. Well, I'm Coach Doyle, and I head up the baseball team at James Woods High. Tell me, son, how would you like to pitch for the high school team? Baseball's the sport people play while eating, right? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I even watch a whole blacklist. Well, I don't know. I've never played baseball before. Ah, oh, come on, Chris. You gotta do it. If you don't, you'll regret it. Just like Jesus' friend, Evan, who bailed on the Last Supper. Here we are, fellas. The future site of Quahog's newest Italian restaurant. Wow, this is a great location. Can we afford this? Sure we can. I set up one of those Kickstarters. Then I realized how stupid that is, and I went to the bank for a loan, like an adult. I think that's pretty standard, Frank, but okay. Great. Now let's go find some chump's restaurant and steal his tables and toilets. James Woods is winning for now, but y'all never know what might happen in the moments to come. I mean, look, there's two baseball guys out on the bases right now. Oh, here comes a new boy. Got a duck over there? Ah, come on. What the hell's Coach Doyle thinking? His voice is scarily soft. I couldn't listen to this person give me directions. And bringing in that fat slob. You know what? I bet you a hundred bucks that fat slob strikes this kid out. Ah, you're on. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. Just like my cousin Freddie with the drugs. Holy crap! Get it? Strike three? I just got that. That's a terrible joke to make, but that doesn't make it any less funny. A hundred bucks? Hey, nice going, Chris! Oh my god, a dog! It was a trap! <laughs> I've been jumped by geese before. It's even sadder yet, it was while I was on a date. Needless to say, I did not get any smashing that night. This dad took one look at Chris and thought he'd suck, but it turns out Chris is a great pitcher. No, I bet there are plenty of other baseball dads who'd also assume Chris stinks. Peter, we could make a lot of money. Yeah, we could make Tony Braxton money. <laughs> wow, look at this, guys. I can't believe we made all this in one game. Yeah, I'm having a great time handling this money and then touching my eyeball. Jerome, another round for my blurry friends. Ah! Our top story tonight, the James Woods High baseball team is headed to the district championship yep. thanks to their secret weapon, star pitcher Chris Griffin. Ah, oh, crap, now everyone knows Chris is a ringer. Tom Tucker just ruined everything. This sucks even worse than when I stub my toe. Ah! Why does everything bad always happen to me? Answer me, guy in box and guy on cross. Well, it's official. Nobody wants to bet against Chris now. I feel like Jessica Simpson's dead. Well, there are plenty of guys willing to bet on James Woods High to win, I'll tell you that. All we gotta do is take those bets and get Chris to take a dive. Well, hold on, Peter. You're gonna ask your own son to lose on purpose? Hey, Doc, get in here right now. Wow, someone's gay, horny. Oh. oh, hey, Chris. Okay, now that I'm decent. Yes, I did tell Chris to throw the game, but it's okay, it's for gambling. Do I look crazy? What do you think puts the food on our table and the garbage bags on our backs? Chris, your father's a jackass. When you get on that field, you try your very best and play to win. You understand me? Yeah. Thanks, Mom. I take all kinds of bets. Hey, Frank, we have to talk. You've got to stop giving away all the food for free. Yeah, otherwise there's no way we're gonna make a profit. Uh oh, we don't have to worry about money. I might be doing a duets thing with that Lady Guga. Uh-huh, that's wrong. I appreciate you trying it my way. Thank you. What was that? Oh, I get 40 bucks every time somebody says my way. Nancy gets 60. Me, Chris won't take a dive. We already took a ton of bets. Look, I'm sorry, you guys, but my hot piece of ass wife says no way. Oh, man, I don't need to know that. Well, pull it together, Peter, because we're about to lose a lot of money. Wait, so what you're saying is, Chris isn't the problem. His arm is. Yeah, I guess. 
Okay, we hear you, Peter. Loud and clear. Well, he intimated. I don't know what that means, but let's go rough up a teenager for beer money. Okay, there's the baseball team's locker room right there. Perfect. And we look like regular high school students, so we'll fit right in. Trust me. I bought the absolute latest issue of Archie Comics, and this is what the kids are wearing. Oh, hey, fellow teens. Wait a minute. Teenagers don't have wheelchairs. No! <laughs> oh! Okay, guys, we've served our last free meal. Here I go with the check. I'm sorry. Last time we ate here, Mr. Sinatra's son said it was free. Okay, uh, everyone, new policy. As is the case with many restaurants, you're going to have to pay for your food. Look whose restaurant thinks it's so good. Oh, yeah, if it was Joey's restaurant, you would have paid. Uh... I can't believe it. They hated us. Well, fellas, we gave it our best shot. If you need me, I'll be back in Palm Springs, which has been completely taken over by the gays. But first, let's have an unearned end of the series moment where we turn out the lights on our own place. We're closed. What's up, Miss? Really? I mean, oh, I get it for the insurance money. Ah, smart. That's how you recop. Uh, uh, the money, back. Don't judge me. Peter, we've got great news. Chris isn't playing. He's not? Why? Well, because we broke his arm like you told us to. Shattered. We shattered his arm. You what? I never told you to do that. He didn't. That's what I thought I heard. Feel terrible. I gotta go find my son. Chris! Dad, my arm's broke, and look, a Camaro! Oh, that guy must be so boss. And it's even worse than I told you to lose. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay, Dad. I just feel bad that my arm is broken in so many places and hurts so much. You found something you were great at, and instead of being happy for you, I tried to use it to make money. Not necessarily. What? What are you talking about? Well, for the last few weeks, since my right arm's been exhausted from pitching, my left arm's had to, uh, pick up the slack. Well, we all know what he means, pick up the slack. I think the slack is his, is his penis. <laughs> See the picture? That's my kid. Ah, son of a bitch! Karma so instant that it waited till the next day to get that ass. Chris, we are very proud of you for making it to the district championship. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. That was really something, Lois. The next pitch Chris threw hit his coach in the head, so there was no one to take him out of the game. We now return to Damn Nature, You Scary on BET. Damn that motherfucker run fast. You see that sh that thing come by my house, I kill it. That little rat looking thing just got eight. Damn, nature, you scary. Wow, there's something in it this year. Settle down, Meg, it's the upstairs bathroom trash. Hey, nice Donald Duck sweatshirt. I'm Jesus. I'm Colleen. Did you spill your drink? No, I'm lactating. This happens every time I hear my baby cry from the car. And you have a lovely evening. Oh, looks like Consuela's son is in prison. I see you soon, Rodrigo. See, Mama. Aw, oh, damn it! Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a deaf dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Got it, Lois. Tell the Peter rang! The Peter rang. <laughs> Just for the record, I was at the hospital for a brief moment. School ended hours ago. Sorry, I got held up. Come on, change! You will die in a plane crash and be reincarnated as a prophylactic. That's gonna be funny in the video. <laughs> Your ass just pop up. <laughs> all right. No, no, not all right. Yes, and you should pay close attention. You've got a lot to learn in a short amount of time, like a fruit fly. All right, son, I'm your dad, there's your mom, this is your house, you like fruit, and we're all dead. 
Remember, we tried to open that restaurant and we never quite got it going. Yeah, we got shut down because of my exploding cupcakes. Mmm, I hope these taste as good as they look. <gasps> Gerald! <laughs> the secret is in the frosting, but I'll never tell. I am tell them that it's gonna kill them before they eat it! Dirt bag. What are you doing down there? They didn't set a place for me. I'm not a dog family. Oh. Go away. Go away, you. I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs. Come on. Do math. <laughs> I want to look at bad real estate agent hairstyles. And this one's not bad. I'd buy a house from this guy. Adults are stupid. The world would be so much better if it were run by babies. Tonight on NBC, shapes. <coughs> and then, colors. <coughs> Followed by an all new, dad's keys. I haven't misjudged someone this bad since my last physical. All right. The doctor will be in in a few minutes. What the... Now return to How I Met Your Father. Oh, Barney. I'm never going to meet the right girl and get married. You know, Ted, don't you think it's kind of strange for a guy in his 20s to always be talking about getting married rather than getting laid? Barney, I'm in love with you. Suit up. No, no. Pheasant on the glass? Don't you mean pheasant under glass? Nope. Yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. Ah, oh, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. Oh, I say, this is an even bigger accomplishment than getting Mini Driver's head to fit on screen. Okay, back up. Further. Move back some more. What? Back up some more. I'm as far away as I can get! Okay, have her enter. Action! Damn it. Cut! I was just dropping Stewie off. Oh, yeah! I should probably go back in there. See how everyone's doing, I guess. Ah, they're fine. In fact, I see Stewie reading a book. Scratch and sniff. Lindsay Lohan goes jogging. Oh, God! Awesome! I'm gonna be a famous music star like Muddy Waters! Muddy? Baby? Everything all right in there? Oh, I think I'm about to pass a kidney stone. Ah! Oh! Ah! Thankfully, I've never had a kidney stone. Not looking to ever experience one. Ah! My God, this is more pussy than even I can handle. Is he gonna say giggity? Did I say giggity? Are other people allowed to say giggity? Giggity. What? Nothing. It's stupid. Peter, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCracken's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you gonna get in on this? I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. <laughs> You'll be happier than a guy on his wedding day. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, free time. Farewell, sex. So long, golf on TV. I'll miss you, privacy. Goodbye being honest about how many beers I've had. Nice knowing you, my own choices. See you later, money. What you've done is more horrible than sex with Sharon Stone. Wow, that was great. One minute I'm filling up at Chevron, and the next I'm having sex with Sharon Stone. Yeah, now comes the best part. <laughs> You're funny on TV, Tracy Morgan, but I would shoot you in my store. <gasps> How did she get in? She must have been quieter than Britney Spears' dietitian. E easy on those trans fats. N not everything needs gravy. You know, there's some carrots down at the other end. That, that cheesecake was for everyone. 
We now return to The Cosby Show, knowing what we know now. Oh, man. I This is still my favorite clip, man. Oh, my God. That's... jackpot than when the Emperor figured out the formula for great Star Wars dialogue. Something, something, something dark side. Something, something, something complete. This is terrible! I can't be short! I'll be an outcast like Rudolph the Uncircumcised Reindeer! Look, Rudolph, it's not me, all right? It's Dasher. He's been complaining, and he is the one who has to look at it all night. I don't know. Mrs. Claus says it'll decrease my sensitivity. I'm, I'm sorry, why are you talking to my wife about this? He's a worse accomplice than Johnny Windchimes. Hey! Shh! Sorry, it's my chimes! Superstore USA is taking all my business. Mine, too. In fact, the only guy in town making any money is that guy who makes tumbleweeds. Y'all laughed at me. Y'all laughed at me. Well, who's laughing now? <laughs> what do you think of this? That makes you attractive. Yeah! Holy crap! Dr. Hartman must have dropped his phone in Joe when he was looking at his spine. Oh, thank God. I've been hearing that ringing all week. I just thought I was losing my mind from lunatics screaming in my face. Your mother's a whore! I told you that in confidence, Gary. <laughs> so if I can just get it to hit me one more time, it'll give me the rush I've been looking for. <laughs> oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, God, I've been so bloody naughty. Oh, I need to be taught a lesson, and you're the one to do it. <laughs> oh, thank you! Thank you! I'm a bigger scumbag than Spock. I heard that there was a Romulan ship spotted in our sector, which means... Hey! Hey! Get me a beer, Brian. I am gonna prepare for this as thoroughly as Ben Affleck prepares for a role. Whoa, I gotta be Henry VIII in 20 minutes. Hello, 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 hello. Got it. We can make this work, like couples who meet on Craigslist. You're, You're not, not what you look, look like, like in your picture. picture. Let's, Let's get, get this, this over with. with. I wonder which one of us is the murderer. Well, I never was very good at building things. Like that time I built that handmade electric razor. By gluing many razor blades to this ordinary desk fan, I'll save time in my morning routine. Ah! Lois, I done it again. We now return to Japanese girls think small versions of things are really cute. Well, the other camera died, which means that is the end of this Try Not to Laugh challenge. I did not win, again, but since when do I ever win something where I'm not supposed to have a good time doing it? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to click over here to watch one of my prank channel videos. And or click over here to watch one of my vlog videos. I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Ha <laughs> ha, you didn't hear that. Twisms! <laughs>